Maybe, possibly, wrong one. Yeah. Well, there we are. Oh, You're I didn't. Great today. Oh shit! I didn't copy the YouTube chat. Hold on a second. Stupid. Hi, chat. Hi, Chuck. Oh yes, guys. I'm joined by Amethyst, Amulet, and that one guy. I Suck it, Tex. This. <laughs> I deserve this, but at the same point, I am the lead mod. <laughs> you are. You are you mod of mods. Mod among mods. Moddy mod mod. <laughs> It's getting warm, which means the snow is melting. Oh no. We got some snow yesterday. It was pathetic. We got no snow. Our snow's actually melting right now. That's <laughs> I'm not, what Amethyst no. just said that. I don't feel bad for you. Yep. We I didn't did. we didn't I get did. shit. Didn't get we didn't get shit for snow. Failure of a mod, you're not watching the stream. Hey, is. I have the stream open, I just don't have the freaking audio playing. No, he's I don't want to hear two of them. Actually, it's in chat. technically, Amethyst sent it in chat, so. I'm getting warm with you. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Discord's really loud. Uh, okay, I'll turn that up. YouTube chat. What? Amethyst has like a huge stream delay. <laughs> oh, on YouTube? Well, I mean, they're, yeah. she probably, she's probably I, backwards. Or you need to skip forward a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Had a like whole three, inch at like, 3 a.m. Like what? Three, yeah, she's like three minutes behind. What the hell yeah. snow did you guys get? A whole, whole inch at, at 3 a.m. We got this. We got this terrible, terrible snow. Oh, it applied the blur to everything. I mean, hey, you guys technically rely on snow after what you guys told me. What you told me about the caves. <laughs> yes, we actually do rely on snow, and we're gonna get <laughs> fucked this year. So, take that, YouTube. I said the fuck word. Yeah, so, so you're telling me like Albuquerque, like your like your governor or your mayor, whatever, like New Mexico governor or something, doesn't like buy like, water and get a shit. Well, it's not the water. fact that we don't buy water. The problem is, is that if we don't get, yeah, if we don't get snow, it causes a drought. So even we can still port water in from like Texas and Denver and whatever. Yeah. But the problem is, is like that's water for us. That's not water for our environment. So. When we have a massive drought, the aquifer the aquifer is low, and then on top of that, our forests become very kindly, so they catch fire really easily. So like last oh, year, yeah, but yeah, it's affecting your nature. Yeah, so like, you no, I mean we'll be fine-ish. They'll be telling us to do restrictions, but like, I mean we're planting, uh, what do you call it, clover this year instead of grass. So there's a, there's it's about balance. I didn't have to kill my grass. My my dogs did it. They did it for me. Acidic. Basically, got to reload the aquifer. Exactly, Chuck. How's everybody doing tonight? We planted rocks. I will not zero escape. I refuse. Does one plant a rock? Well, it's popular to do zero escaping in New Mexico or Albuquerque and. I did it, and I've got it in the front yard, but I will not do it in my backyard. My backyard is my little place to escape, and I use the top technology to make sure I don't use more water than I need to. So. You're spending money to save water. Yep. Because it saves me money in the long run. Come to the Midwest. I know. Canada. I can't go to Canada. Your guys' is president or whatever just made it illegal to buy homes. Prime Minister, you mean? <laughs> yeah, whatever the hell he is. Oh, we don't talk about Trudeau on your street. That's true. We don't do politics, but just how it goes. That's true. I could do that on my uncle's land, too. Oh. It's all, it's all silly. Politics is silly, and when the world burns, it won't be in existence anymore. Guys, we're doing 3D shit tonight. Fuck yeah. Here we are. I'm your, I'm your hype man, right? Man? Yeah. Wow, what a hype man. Hypey hype boy. Oh, yeah. That's showing Discord right now. That needs to be showing Maya. We're going to open. Hope I don't get banned. I think the song is the... All right, we're going to find some new music here. Hold on a second. I'm going to kill Brave, because Brave is using another you 90... You me, you bitch. Who Did deafened it? me? No, you, you deafened me. We, we can hear you. I got deafened. No, we can hear I you. I didn't touch you. I literally don't even have Discord up right now. Oh, no, I can't use Chrome because Chrome has a technical account. I would account. tell you because I'd be laughing. All right, YouTube, we're going to do this. We're going to go to YouTube. 
We're going to do, so, uh, what do you call it? Um, everybody in New Mexico just needs to get turf. Uh, no, I refuse. Why not? Because I hate it. It gets hot what? in the summer. I don't want to be able to sit on, I, I don't so want to go. Sand, ground, and everything else. I know, but my grass does not. So, suck it. You're planting everything clover. You should, Good luck. Everything clover you showed doesn't. me on Google Maps, literally, there's nothing around it. <laughs> yeah, except for the river that runs through here that's barely a river. Uh, we're God, looking for come, royalty. Come to where me and Amethyst live. We have one of the big, oh, one, like the fifth big, biggest river in Canada right beside our house. That's true. You guys do. What is it, a creek? <laughs> let's Dude, not dox we'll, ourselves. We'll, we'll text you know what river it is. <laughs> I know. I'm just being a dick because right. I know where it is and I'm not going to dox you. I want music that is copyright safe. Oh, here we go. Cyber. You know, for the man is very insecure about being private. I'm very open there we go. Music. We got music. <laughs> HOA says all our front yards must be zero escape. That's why I said no to an HOA and decided not. Cheers. I agree with this. Because HOAs are the devil. I'm sorry. There are a few instances where they're they're usable. No. They're they're okay. No, 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 no. What? An HOA is a government minded option because somebody doesn't want to actually be in government. Here's, somebody just wants small amounts of power. Here's the reason why, right now, I'd be okay with having an HOA. Because my neighbor next to me is a piece of garbage, and currently there are three mattresses, a chair, and a piece of wood sitting on his front yard that are covered in dog feces. And the yeah, city won't... Sure it's dog feces? It's, it's dog feces. But the city won't come and do anything about it, so I'm calling them every day to be like, come fucking do something about this. It's gross. So an HOA, take care of that. How uh, what? What the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? You know what's hilarious? You you want to repeat what you just said to me? That looks on me. I said that looks. I'm looking at. I was describing my water bottle, and then I was looking at her screen. Like her screen, her MacBook screen is like crystal clear. It's like oh, it's because it's a MacBook screen. The screens what are good. What do you have? I have, I have some. That's I it. Have Acer's that's that's all that's good. This is a screen. See, I like my. I, I got a predator right now. And it's it? really good. It's on. It's booting. What? Like, it's very shiny. My NAS. Lost. I gotta wait for my NAS to boot. I thought you said you're spooning right now. Is it? I got a question. Uh, yes. It's okay, invisible to stream. Oh, for God's sake. What do you mean that the local device name is already in use? What? Fuck Stand, stand in place. So gross. Oh, there we go. Know, okay. Look. Stream capture. Stream elements. What are we doing? We're working on the starting soon screen. We had some revelations today that we're gonna we're gonna adjust some things on. Um, this one. So depressing. So depressing. Yeah, Chuck, I've called him like five times now. Well, the, the thing that's also the most depressing thing: all three of my monitors combined like cost like two hundred dollars more than her MacBook. <laughs> I'm not well, going to say that happened. thought hasn't crossed my mind, Chuck, because I'm so fed up with this neighbor at this point. But, you know. Oh, I remember you were talking about your neighbor. That would be arson, and that's not good. Is All right. The is this the one with the dog? This is the one with the dog. And the yeah. puppy's inside his house that he left there when he went to go work on another state. Oh. So he left, oh, a, he left a pregnant dog in his house. Which oh. subsequently gave birth while he has been gone for two months, and he is still gone. Oh. Which is why everything is covered in shit, because the dogs don't know what to do. So I don't blame the dogs. Wait. Who's taking care of the dogs? No one? His ex-wife or something. Oh, wow. Alright, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to replace this window, because it looks terrible. Delete. Did you put my face in the corner and just have me peeping through the window? There you go. <laughs> You get you're getting your you're getting your stream name on, on a bottle in the other one. <laughs> Don't be greedy. I mean I mean hey I already got my podcast I worked very hard on the album cover right there. True that's true. We need I um we I need reference for a window. Let's see. Uh, then Jake window threw it all the way. <laughs> he didn't throw it away. Window reference images. What do you mean Jake threw it away? He oh I did it? I did I did a crap ton of research and I wrote the whole entire document for the Skinwalker Ranch. I sent it to Jake and he just deletes a bunch of shit that I worked on and edits it. <laughs> <laughs> I think the black I, frame one would be a good one. Which one? One of those black frame ones. That's what I'm looking at. I just want to. I, I was thinking like more of an industrial design, industrial window. Less well, then, then you're just gonna have a glass pane. 
Hold on. You, okay, where are you right now? Are you in an office? Are you in a home? Well, so that's in... the thing. Is like I was thinking it's like an abandoned office type deal. So kind of like that fourth, uh, that fifth image right there. Like this one. Yeah. Like the f yeah, that one. See, but are uh, you in that type of a warehouse? I'd go with the one above it, just the black one. True. Or you can do full glass pane like a office or a coffee shop. It, it, Ooh. Office windows are not pretty. This is an option. What? The studio window. That one's yeah. nice. It's soundproof. <laughs> Nobody's going to do that, Chuck. It's okay. No one's going to set the house on fire. I am about to I am about to message the owner though and be like, "Hey, your shitty tenant is like ruining my neighborhood." All right, how's this built? That's easy enough. I can build that. Okay. Let's see here. Everybody got quiet. Why did everybody get quiet? Potato. But ah, okay, good. Yeah. That's that's so what I. Who's I, gonna see Ant Man Quantum? That's what I like to hear. I uh, is it next week? Uh, next Friday comes out. Yeah. No, is it? is it really? I'm I'm really excited because Shit. the premiere was two the premiere was two nights ago on Sunday, and people are are saying it's really like how I. Like, I know how they're I saying it's the Marvel Star Wars, and I'm like, whatever. The Marvel Star Wars. It's the Wars. last. It's the last piece of Phase Four, and I'm f I'm still kind of no, afraid of it. No, no, actually, it's the first piece of Phase Five. Is it being considered the first piece of Phase Five? Yeah. Wow. Phase mm -hmm. Four was really Wakanda, quick. Phase Wakanda Four was, was. <laughs> Phase Four was, in Kevin Feige's words, an experiment, and I'm like, well, it didn't go well, did it? Phase Four was just TV shows. Is Avatar <laughs> yeah. still in theaters? It is. It has currently been dethroned as. At, at top daily box office by uh, Knock at the Cabin. The only reason why I say that is because it is 22 million, less That's than 22, it's open. 17 million away <laughs> from dethroning Titanic. It's not going to because Titanic's being released in in February to uh, appease the Valentine's crowd. Uh, um. Uh, the Knock at the Cabin, that's the one with uh, Bautista, right? Dave Bautista. Dave Bautista. Okay. Bautista. I like Dave Bautista. I hate that shit. I was kind of hoping it would be throwing it. it. I mean, it uh, may temporarily. I don't think... I don't, when's Titanic coming out? Let's see. But yeah, oh. Quantumania is the first movie for Phase 5. Wakanda Forever was the last movie for Phase 4. Let's uh, see, Titanic. Phase 5 is now going to be more serious, where they're going to start focusing on the multi more of the multiverse shit. Which they touched on, quote unquote, a little bit. Which oh. they touched on it a lot in the first in Phase Four. Um, so they're going to focus on the multiverse stuff for Phase Five and a little bit of the. Uh, it legit comes out tomorrow. A little bit more of the horror stuff, like the Blade movie coming out. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they do. I'm excited for Quantum Mania, but also scared for it at the same time. I'm. I just want to see Kang. Like he oh, I do too, Jonathan but like, such an amazing actor. you've got a to call him the next Thanos. You've got a lot to compete against. People are saying that he won. He he already won it just after this movie. I hope so. The people who went to go to the premiere. Did I miss something? No, I didn't. Okay, I cool. I was wondering, like, why M. Night is this so short? I realized that technically Phase Two was also this short. Yeah. Phase Phase Two. Phase yeah, Two phase... was only six movies. It was Iron Man Three yeah. to Ant Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, phase three was the longest. Technically, I don't know. Phase four might be the longest, but uh, but it was just nothing about TV shows, really. Um, no, phase four people... is phase four is the is the uh, is the shortest. Phase three is the longest. So one thing you're criticizing about uh, Ant Man, you know, what uh, I need to do Ant Man and the Wasp on Mania, is that why people are saying why call it Ant Man and the Wasp when Wasp only has about ten minutes of screen time in the whole movie? It's yeah, I don't know. Because you're trying to sell the Wasp for future installments of something. I, I know. It like, may be why? another Disney Plus episode or TV show thing. It might be like one of those like spin-offs, uh, but there's going to be something. Can we change But Ant-Man and the Wasp, like Ant-Man 2, that had a lot of Wasp. There we go. I, yeah, wasp, well, it did. And they're just continuing. Like, they're... Mania. They're continuing the uh, concept of, like, maintaining that they're a duo. Which I guess I kind of understand. And then people are also hating on Cassie. 
saying that she's really playlist. I'm, I, I, I've been kind of expecting that ever since I saw the trailer. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I, I just, I've been so let down aside from Wakanda forever that I'm just like, I don't know. Do, do you have any hope for the six coming out for Phase Five? What do you mean? Like the movies? Uh, yeah. Any hope for them? <clears throat> I don't know yet. Hold up. Let me <laughs> it depends uh, I, because. I it's Ant-Man and the Wasp, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, The Marvels, Captain America, New World Order, Thunderbolts, and the last one will be Blade. That is September of next year. I, I really hope The Marvels does well. a bunch of TV shows. Yeah, I'm just looking at the movies. Yeah, yeah. I hope yeah. The Marvels does well because I know... Um, it won't. What's her name is thinking about quitting because of the hate that she got, but like... I'm like, don't... Brie Larson? Yeah, Brie Larson. She got a lot of hate for that movie. I thought she got a role in Star Wars. Not that I know of. I heard something about her getting a role in Star Wars. Not that I've heard. Huh. Loki season two, I'm excited for that because I actually liked Star I, Loki. Yeah. And it uh, feels like just a money grab because she was all the memes from WandaVision. It was Agatha all along. Well, like, I mean, they used her. I feel like that's the only reason why she's getting a show. She was to, no, she's to set up, a, she's supposed to set up more of the multiverse, but you know. Can't figure that out properly either. Captain America: New World Order. I'm curious about how that goes. I didn't like Falcon Winter Soldier. Oh, I did. Um, and I heard uh, make Harrison, the Ford, Harrison Ford is playing uh, the Red Hulk <laughs> dude, whatever his name is. Yeah, he's taking over for what's his name who died. Yeah, Thunderbolts. I'm excited for. It's the su it's basically Suicide Squad but Marvel, but they kind of butchered the team they just made it heroes when back then it was in the comic books it's actually villains i mean technically red star whatever the hell his name is is technically a villain he's like the an anti-hero black widow yeah he's technically a but there's bucky there's bucky there's uh a black widow sister yes ghost ghost from uh ant-man and the wasp was supposed to be on the team but they actually cut her from the team why they're no longer gonna ha i don't know literally i everyone's confused too why get rid of her she's really the, she was going to be the only person on the thunderbolts that actually had powers yeah and that's literally, true Feige is just like no we got rid of her well um secret invasion i'm kind of i'm kind of curious because the trailer looks like shit uh like yeah i don't really just know like a ncis show with aliens that's probably what it's gonna be if you're if exactly. we're being honest um echo i don't care about echo because i didn't really care about her in hawkeye mm. iron heart i don't care about iron heart she didn't she was kind of pointless in black panther that is my one gripe with black panther is her character deserved way more development and didn't get it yeah nah. Um, also, the Brie Larson thing is just a rumor. There's no confirmation because she was supposed to play uh, Mar or was it Mara Jade or Avara Chris, and that was it. There's mm. no confirmation towards Agents so of Shield. Mm, what yeah. about the Star Wars thing I heard about? Is that true or is that just a rumor? It's Those a rumor. Just rumors. That's yeah. what I'm saying because she's either going to play. Okay. The rumor is either she plays Mara Jade, which is Luke Let's Skywalker's see. wife. Control or D. Is it a wife? Luke technically in the in the extended part Ten, yeah. yes yeah Bar chris which is a jedi master on the high republic side which makes sense mm -hmm. scale that in the y i remember her getting a lot of hate because like she was like talking about like when she first got the role of captain marvel she mm -hmm. was like being very cocky oh i have the most strongest character in the whole mcu blah blah blah, blah. she's very cocky about her character mm. i remember that i mean thing. to be fair she did yeah, to be fair, she is the strongest, but I remember her getting a lot of hate because of how cocky she was. She got hate because of what she said about toxic fans. And oh, I yeah. I think it's ridiculous because, you know, like, toxic fandom is ridiculous in general because, like, why are you that obsessed with this? But like, Literally all people complain about the MC. It's not comic accurate. Well, it's never has been. No, it hasn't been. It wasn't supposed to be. And, like, giving, giving Brie Larson shit because of it is just stupid literally the last of us is like the very it is this is not marvel obviously but the last of us is the very first like video game movie tv show that's actually Modify accurate and people are still complaining a superhero movie with the hero that has no powers what a movie that's called die hard <laughs> and it's not a christmas movie it is a christmas movie it is. no it, it is, is not bruce willis it can is. shut his mouth you know right. it's shocking oh. that bruce willis is the one okay. that's allowed to say oh. that still 
let me ask you this. How is it not a Christmas movie? Just because it's around the timing of Christmas does not make so, it a Christmas movie. It absolutely can I, can does. I say, can I say something to counter back with that? If you're Jeez. saying that, then Home Alone is not a Christmas movie. True. Because ha Home Alone has nothing to do with, like, it, like uh, Santa Claus or anything. It just, like, literally, it only, okay, it's only Christmas day. I, it's, okay. it's during the time of Christmas, but it's only Christmas day for the last five seconds of the movie. Okay, you are correct. Here's my counteract to that one. The whole concept is the family is going on vacation for Christmas. Yeah, but... Yeah, and the whole concept of Die Hard is a Christmas party. Oh, it's not. It's a murder! During a Christmas party. <laughs> oh, for the love of fuck. It's a murder. Die Hard is a Christmas There's so many party. movies then that you can call Christmas movies that aren't, and that just bothers me. If it takes place during a right. time of Christmas... Christmas I think movie. there's a part in one of the Fast and Furious movies that's during Christmas. Is that General a Christmas movie rendering now? Editors. Yeah, Iron okay. Man 3 is also a Christmas movie. Oh my so... god, go fuck off. <laughs> Spider-Man No Way Home is a Christmas movie. It takes place during Christmas. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, Hawkeye's technically a Christmas show. What you see it? the problem with what you all are saying? Well, they opened presents in the last episode. And Hawkeye like is a Christmas show. It, it, no, it, it is. it's actually like it's, Disney officially said it, like it is a Christmas show. Have you not it's watched Hawkeye. The show, Have you I know. Not watched the show though. No, I've not watched. Yeah, it it, it fully yeah it fully centers they, around it. Uh, yeah, they heavily see. advertise Christmas in that show. I need to figure out which material this is. Oh, lamp body. Oh, yeah. There we go. Lamp body. We're just gonna use the same material because I'm lazy. There we go. Secret Invasion, aka Agents of Shield. Yeah, I don't know. I never Agents watched. Shield, yeah. I never watched Agents of Shield either. So, so I watched the first two seasons of Agents of Shield, then stopped because it was just getting out of hand. That's legit. Just a... and then, then Kevin Feigly, uh, Feigly, Feigly, Feigly finally came out and said that Kevin Agents Feigly. of Shield is no longer canon to the MCU, which I'm happy about. Oh, the they said. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's no longer canon because they also have the. Uh, See how many times we can interrupt Chris. Multiverse of Madness that Wanda wants, and. What? I said, let's see how many times we can interrupt Chris. Oh. Because <laughs> he's all give a fight, give a fight, give a fight. Go ahead. No, oh no, I was just saying that to be an an, an idiot. Oh okay. I don't know. I'm like I, videos right now. I am super hopeful that the new Marvel stuff is like the old stuff and like actually had heart, um, because it's very rare now that a Marvel film actually has like some decent heart to it. But I don't know. Just I, mean, I just don't know. No Way Home kind of had that with Aunt May. I mean, I guess. But personally, I don't like Spider Man No Way Home. The reason I, I'm so I, I still okay. Can't I believe this is a 3D angle. project. What do you mean, Stick? All right. I'm curious so your the reason, angle on this. All right. So I I like it, but I'm just gonna say this, and what I'm saying is actually completely true. Uh -huh. Remove the cameos. Remove the multiverse stuff. Remove Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield. No, they need to stay. Well, well, no, it's, they like, they deserve to stay. No, I'm, no, 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 I, no, no, no. I, I want to see where he's going with this because I can pretty much destroy his concept already. Oh, no, I see what you're no, saying. They, you're, okay. oh, they, can, they deserve to stay, yes. But if you were to remove them, the movie is very boring. The story is boring. Literally, I kid you not. Well, I mean, you can't necessarily... The only succeeded because of the cameos. Yeah, but you okay. can't necessarily remove them, no. considering that the story was based around their cameo. No, hold on. Let me fix one thing. You don't need to get rid of any of that. There's one thing you need to fix. Spider-Man. What's wrong with Spider-Man? Because this whole movie predicates on one stupid teenager. Oh, because he didn't go to... Screen he studio. Well, yeah, that's how you do it, man. he's a fucking idiot. And, did and, then, and then cocky as shit, the whole movie has to happen. Where's my glass shader? Honestly, was like... That is legitimately also... it. If he just went to go talk to the dean of the school calmly yeah. without doing any stupid shit or ever yeah. talking to Doctor Strange, there would be no movie. Yes, so and also, all this is a stupid teenagers don't know what they're talking about. It's Good. partially Doctor Strange's fault, too. 
What do you mean? Because he listened to the because, kid. I won't. I won't no, listen. Oh, okay. I see what you're he saying. listened. He listened to the kid, but also mainly because he didn't ask Peter at the beginning. Is there anybody you want to remember? That's true. Yeah. He doesn't need to do this in the beginning. You I know. Need to you have have people to... forget you. Just go to the damn dean. Alright, so well, we're gonna do that. Fuck. He had a purpose to go get people to forget because he was being framed as a murderer. I'm pretty sure everybody yeah, would he do can the he can get over that. I mean, I know, true. but I'm pretty sure everybody would do the exact same thing if they were being framed for a murder that they didn't do. No, teenagers would. I mean, he was a teenager, teenager so. Is, and also, Drake's being accused for killing XX and Tanshi right now. <laughs> Jesus. What? All right, let's see how that window Drake, looks. So, XX and Tanshi, oh, he died this like six years ago. <laughs> And now XX Tentancio is lawyers coming out saying that it might have been Drake. I'm like, mm, what? I see. I see what you're saying. I'm so confused. Why, why it like... would be a good one. That's a, that's a good way to describe my feeling. Is that refreshed yet? It's not refreshing. Also, there we go. I'm an idiot. Why are you an idiot? Um, I pretty much did. Oof. So I've been working on it's the. What do you call it? The clip thing from the verticals? Yeah. Because I want to release them like on Instagram and on shorts. Mm -hmm. I edited them all like they're 1920 by 1080. Nice. Why did you do that? Because I'm... <laughs> all right. So the computer monitor is going away, everybody. Say no. goodbye. Say goodbye. It's fine. I told Jake that we're doing flat screens because I'm tired of these old ones. <laughs> Becoming energy efficient. And also, Jake didn't, didn't Jake say he wants to be more modern? Well, Jake wants um he wants a bigger screen for because this screen's supposed to show YouTube videos from our channel, and it can't really do that being a tiny ass CRT. So we're it's changing. Plastic on the wall. Well, so that's the cool thing, right? So that's the other project is I'm gonna have to move some of these posters because we're actually oh god, how am I gonna do that? Uh, I didn't think about that. We're going to add a flat screen on the wall that's going to have the poster in it for the stream because yeah, it's going to be all hologrammy. But I'm going to have to find room for it. Calls them like I sees them. Exactly. <clears throat> Egg. Yes, stick. Okay. So... Do I model a flat screen in this one, or should I? I'm going to do it in another one. So we're going to save this. Nope, we're not going to do that. Save scene. Yeah, save. I said you should do flat screens. But I know, Chuck, I know. I had to think on it. Oh my god, what did it do? Please, for the love of god. <laughs> Tell me it just didn't delete that. I swear to God, if that just got deleted, I'm going to lose my shit. When was the last updated? 2-8-2023 at 6.46. Okay, good. That was almost bad. Yeah, Chuck, I just, I, I wanted to think on it. I wanted to figure it out. I wanted to see if it was going to work for us. Um, well, I, the problem is, is I, I closed it and saved it, but I didn't know if it actually saved it. Uh, it, Maya is very, um, relentless when it comes to not saving shit. So it happens. So flat screen monitor. I don't want like a gaming monitor. I want something, something that looks okay. Maybe like so why a. Are you doing Samsung? this? Are you like taking like the image off of Google, or do you just like? No, I'm just looking for. I I look for a reference. So what I do is I find an image on Google. I look at it and I say, okay, this is what I like about it. This is what I want to keep. What I want to model in. And I think I'm gonna go with this Samsung because that's a good uh, basic bezel-less design. Wait, where are you putting? Are you putting them on the desk? Uh, no, this one's going on top of the uh, cabinet. I w you sh you should make it like the Samsung portrait ones. I could do that, but this one's supposed to play videos, YouTube videos. Portrait. What do you mean? It'd be perfect. 
No, because YouTube videos are not portrait. Is there... Wait, are you... Oh, oh no, no, no. I'm, no, landscape. Portraits... Portraits, like, straight up. No! They're portrait TV screen. The one that if you don't turn it on, it looks like it's just a, 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 a portrait. Oh, the por... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I could see that. I see what you mean. Okay. Uh, um... <laughs> I don't know if that I, I don't know how I would convey that though because like it's asking for a lot of work. I don't know what do they look like? Like a TV with a painting in the middle of it? Maybe. You guys might hear a vacuum cleaner for a little bit. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Samsung portrait TV. I mean, they just look like a frame. Yeah, they kind of just look like a frame. I'm gonna go with a monitor. What are you at my house for? What? To deliver you cookies. I'm playing Minecraft with Amethyst. 70 inch sharp aquas? Is that what you're watching us on right now? Chuck? What are you doing? I've never actually built a flat screen monitor in Maya. There's a first time for everything. All right, we're gonna offset the edge loop here. Monitors are always have a little bit of a curved back. And this one doesn't have much of a bezel, so we're gonna do boom, 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 boom. We're going to pull this in just a tad bit. And then we're going to pull this up because this is going to form the bottom bezel. Oh, that's loud. I love that vacuum cleaner. Yeah, no, I, I warned you that there was going to be a vacuum cleaner. I, I know. It's super important to stream. It helps a lot. What's up, Madness? How you doing, buddy? Um, How's that's... It going, dude? Oh, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna do it this way, because I'm a smart little cookie. <coughs> I'm not gonna make this more difficult for myself. Why'd you laugh at that, amulet? I didn't, I coughed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I coughed. I'm sorry, it was too convenient. Amethyst is the one who laughed. She laughed at my smart cookie comment? She did a, she did a, oh. she did like a little, little. You, you, like you're that. making me sad, Amethyst. That's well, okay. Oh, that's okay. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay to be sad. Don't worry. Just let me know, and I can. I'll kick her out of my house and take her home. Just let me know when you want to go. He wouldn't. I, mean, I have to take. I have to take you home. You're not allowed to sleep over. Slumber party. J.K. Don't do that. You get in trouble. <laughs> hey, exactly. By her Can't even look at each other wrong. That's how babies happen. Not that. Tell, not that right now. Tell him. <laughs> Number party. Nine months. Yo, later. Matt. Thanks. Thank you, man. We, but we are. We already. We already. We are. I. I. It was just in case you didn't know. That's <laughs> no, all right. Just. I appreciate you saying. You. You. <laughs> you're quite welcome. Any other any other adult like advice? I'm I'm here for you guys. What was that? What was that comedy sketch? I think it was. Can you really? Yeah, she's 19. Oh shit! What's your favorite drink so far? Nothing. Had anything? You haven't had anything yet. You're legally able to drink, and you haven't like gone and abused it. Tell them about what your boss told you. Oh my gosh, so my boss at work, uh -huh. she's like, this lady's like my work mom, okay? I love her. And I'm gonna dox her name. Her name is Stacy. We love Stacy. Okay. Um, Hi, Stacy. She's, she's great. She's got a daughter. She's got like four kids, and her youngest daughter is a year older than I am. Okay. And so I tell Stacy, we're just having this conversation, and I was like, yeah, like all my friends were like, yeah, you should go out and get something to drink. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't really, it, I don't have any desire to go and do that. 
Hmm. So I told her that, and she was like, oh my gosh, you're legally able to go do that. And she, like, started going off. This is my manager at work. <laughs> and she started going off about what drinks I should go and try first. Yeah. And what I was like, this is not a conversation that you should be having with your 19-year-old employee. But I love the fact that that's what we're at. She, she wants you to experience life on the highest of levels. <laughs> I was like, Stacy, this is great. This is mom advice that my mom would never give to me because she would always root for the don't drink. So. I mean, to be fair, drinking's bad for your health, but I mean, I, oh, yeah. I will be interested to know when you do try what your favorite drink is. We'll, um, yeah. You'll have to leave a review in the in the Masonic bar. Okay, we'll do that. That's what it's for. I need. Nobody well, else uses it. It's great, but like we need to figure out what is my first drink going to be. Um, she's telling me she's like, don't take a straight shot of like vodka. Or something. No, don't do it. You're gonna you're gonna make yourself really sad if you do that. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Roy, what's up? Um, honestly, you would probably like to start with like, co like cocktails. So cocktails are good. Um, they're they're you can get like fruity cocktails. You can get like non fruity cocktails, but uh, either that or like ciders. My wife loves ciders. It's a hard cider, so it's basically a like apple cider or like pear cider or anything like that, and then it has alcohol. They're good. They're very good. Mm. They're not like they're not like. Okay, so calling it like cider is is kind of unfair because it really isn't like cider. It's basically like alcoholic juice. It's really Are good. We're trying to get amethyst to drink now. What? Yeah, we're talking about like what she should try first. Oh, thank you. Because I need to try some. Well, I don't need. No, no, no! Don't do that. Hold on. I have one. Here, you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah, tax. Amethyst is 19 now, so we're trying to. They're trying to figure <laughs> out. Legally drink. Legally drink. Legally drink. <laughs> no, I hate w opening bottles with weird ass shit. Me, who still has to wait. Like, you're still a baby am months, amulet. Nine more. No, nine more months. Oh, that's uh, not bad. That's that's not. We don't, I, yeah, I'm yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't jump into beer first because beer is an acquired taste, oh, and then shots of alcohol is just. Oof. You're what? I hate the smell of beer whenever. Um, Don't say my name. I, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Don't, don't get them in trouble. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not going to get us in trouble. But I don't like saying your I mean, technically you could. Uh, what is Twitch going to do? Go verify Amulet is the age that he is? No, it's called. You guys, you guys don't like it when I bring it up. Oh, I don't. I, I don't care. But yes, beer beer is um, beer is an acquired taste for sure. Yeah, so Mister over here likes to drink it, and whenever he drinks it, he has beer breath, and I actually hate it so much. Beer uh, breath, interesting. Rum and no, Coke. Rum and Coke is a good one too. You're right. Ah, uh, it's always a good start. That that's what I grew up on. For instance, rum yeah, rum and Coke. You just put some rum and Coke or some whiskey and Coke. Well, um, I don't like. This is a very good beer if you've never had it. Brewed in Arizona. It's called Kilt Lifter. Kilt Lifter, that's an interesting name. It's got a kilt on it. See? It's, it's got a kilt on it. Legit. It's an Irish like beer. <sighs> Tried, they don't make a magnifying glass that can find it. What the hell are you guys saying? Don't worry about it. You just stream. I got chat managed. You guys are being weird. Would you like me to be normal? Oh, no. Would you like me to be calm? Sure. The I way it. You would, it would be so. I, I don't know. I don't know if you're able to be calm. Oh, I can. Can you be? Really? I've so seen this... your streams a few times, bud. I don't know. <laughs> no. but that, but that's hey, she just did a life. she just did a Canadian thing. That makes me so happy. What? She called what? you bud. So is Jake Canadian now? Because half of our conversations, you always Jake. Jake funny. says "bud" from his like Canadian make fun of people voice. So I, yes. Okay. Here we go. I want you guys to do your best Canadian accent. Just, just, go. just call Shorzy. Sorry. Oh God. Just, just. Sorry. Sorry. Don't say yeah, you do. Oh, they do. <laughs> you do, oh, bud. No. Oh, Just bud. Short. 
Just do Shorzy. Come on, just do Shorzy. Yeah, you me and Roy were doing a couple of <laughs> Sit down and have some maple syrup, eh? Hey, you, I'm not Shorzy. good at I'm not good at a Canadian accent. I'm not even gonna I'm pretend. Fine. Hey fuck you, Shorzy. Oh fuck hey, you. Fuck me and your mom me and your mom were having some fun the other night. I was ripping some cum on her. <laughs> <laughs> So, no way. So, Amethyst, oh. hold on, I'll explain. My first job, I all my, like, the companies I worked with were Canadian, so they'd come visit me. Great. And the one thing I caught on immediately was the fact that when they say sorry, it's a very deep O sound. Sorry. So whenever they say, like, and they would say it, there was sorry. one day I started counting how many times they'd say it. So I just hear, like, sorry, sorry. And, like, so I picked that up. Okay, so then a boot, so that's another one. A boot? No, actually, we don't say a boot. Not not it's your actually... side, the other side. Oh, so, oh, and uh, Saskatchewan, it's Saskatchewan, they say. Sir, is there another the side of Canada I'm not aware of? Yeah, Saskatchewan. the east and the west side. Huh? East side versus west side, fam. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Actually, you, they, I would they can't say be British recycled, Columbia, but you can throw them in the like trash. people from British Columbia and, uh, and sad. people from Ontario are the exact same. Yeah, it, I was because I was thinking, I was thinking like recycling. Watch out for. Yeah, you can throw, you can throw it away. Well, you have to be able to are dispose from, of it somehow. But yeah, you can throw it away. You ladies are from around these parks. Stop fighting. Canada doesn't need this. Canada, yeah, well, they do. They have, they, they've stayed out of war the last. Canada time. needs a battle, and amulet and amethyst are going to start. Please don't do that. No. Do I have permission to keep quoting Shorzy? Uh, Shorzy? Uh, no. Because no. I don't even know what that is. It's Letter what? Kenny. What? It's Letter a Kenny? It's a, it's a Canadian show that is absolutely hilarious. And what if you is have Letter Hulu, Kenny? You yeah. It's like... The best way to kind of explain this is a calm version of Family Guy in real life. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Highly recommend it. Yeah, fuck you, I was ripping on the ice. You don't there. recommend it? No, I recommend it. I like oh, it. you do, okay. Oh, you think you can call Shores? Do you even know who Shorty is, Amethyst? Huh? You're in creative mode. Do you? ASMR do you know, chips. Do you yes. know who Shorty is? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'll move my mic away. <laughs> while I enjoy Why my mining? while I enjoy my chips. Are you mining below my house? Are you mining below your house? I heard something completely different there, but I'm gonna keep that to myself. Hey Matt, I'm gonna ask you a really dumb question. Are you? You're yes, not sir. Anything important? Oh no, I'm just modeling. It's fine. I know. Um, what resolution scale do you use for when you do your shorts? Is it 1080 by three, uh, 1350? No, it's um legit. Uh, that's actually a good question. Okay, you don't. Um, no, but I could find out real quick. Hold on. Oh, okay. Shine bright like a diamond amulet. Because it was, it was the stone block beside the <laughs> Let's find out. What, what, Let's find what, out. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? You're good what? teasing you. Making me all self-conscious, Roy. I'm just kidding. You become self-conscious, what? Roy, how are you doing, buddy? There are like 13 different There are 13 different conversations going on. I love it. What happens what well, happens one of them is me well. talking to my viewers. Thank you. That's not important. <laughs> This is what happens when we talk when we have this. While we wait for DaVinci Resolve to load, we'll pour another brew. ADHD in one room. Yeah, it's basically what it is. I was gonna ask, you still haven't updated it to 18 yet? No, because I I'm okay, so here's my history with DaVinci Resolve. Very afraid to update DaVinci Resolve because every time I do something horrible breaks. I haven't had that issue yet. I I have. When I updated to 17, I had to completely rip it out of my computer and try it again and hope to God it worked. <laughs> I, I don't know what they what they changed, but it broke my whole database. It broke everything. It is so cold in your freaking room. It's it cold. is Canada. It is, it's yeah. Canada, and also my mom won't turn on the uh, the heater because of how much it costs right now with taxes. Well, what? Your heater costs taxes? Our, I'm not, oh, uh, it's uh, politics stuff. We don't not talk about. Well, no, no, I'm just confused because you said you're you're. There are there are technically taxes on utilities in Canada. Oh, That's yeah. We have and a, we have something called a carbon tax. B utilities cost a whole whack load more in the winter because everybody's using it. Oh, it's the same here. And it's expensive. But it's really bad right now. It's you have no idea how bad it is right now. They kind of have the same concept that we have that when it gets worse. Or like when the colder months heat is, or like get, like whatever your like no. usual heating sources gets more expensive. Right. 
Yeah, gas gas here has tripled. Um, I do have some great news though. Eggs have dropped like thirty cents. I wow, they're only eight times more expensive. Mm -hmm. Now they're like four dollars instead of. Actually, no, they they they, wow. they, they wait, dropped wait, wait, they wait. dropped they dropped a dollar. We'll put it that way because Walmart wait. was selling them for about five dollars and twenty cents a dozen. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Four dollars. Are you talking cage free or slave chickens? No, slave chickens. Oh. Got oh, it. Okay, so so okay. it is more. It's still more expensive there than it Chris, is. Chris, our our shorts are 1080 by 1920. Ten. Your shorts are 1080 by 1920. Yeah. So Flipped? you. Yeah. So think of the full HD resolution, and then you just flip it. Oh. And that functions on all platforms. I looked it up on Instagram, and it says it's 1080 by 1350. So yes. Okay, steak. We are finally talking about eggs. And that was the end of the egg conversation, Glenn. Yeah, y'all could go. <laughs> For all my utilities this month, I'm looking at 400 plus. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of awful, isn't it? Excuse me, what? Oh, okay, Roy. I kind of get Roy. It's actually probably about where I'm at too. Not gonna lie. I don't know. Well, right I'm, now, my utilities are somewhere probably around 500, but that's because I have a lot to heat. I'm real bad about like actually paying mine on time. I do it on purpose. Well, the problem is I have three heaters in my house. Why? My main house, my garage, and my apartment. I'm sorry. Your garage has its own individual. I fucking hate you. Heater and AC. I hate you. It has its own. I have three thermometers. I, I wish so much that my garage had a heater and an air conditioner in it. I didn't install oh, it. My Everything garage, it. my garage is a gym. Okay, good for you. That's why I need it. Chris, on the other hand, is just sitting over there with his gobs the of money. The house that I bought, to explain, <laughs> the house that I bought had it already. I haven't put it in. And so the guy that previously owned the house worked on cars. And because it gets cold, you got to have a heater. Oh, so, that's true, Roy. I didn't think about that. The burbs, the burbs yeah, need heat. Too. We had to adjust our thermostat to stay at 70 or 64 because of the, uh, we just got rats. Hey, hey Matt, you say what lucky, rat? I say expensive. Yeah, we got rats. Like pet rats, not not like. <laughs> I had to think, it was like, wait, you got pet, you got rats? I didn't think about this. Oh yeah, you pet rats. Yeah, we got pet rats. What is it, uh, what were their names again? You... Hey, no judgment, but uh -huh. like, why would you want rats? They're incredibly smart. Um, they're actually, yeah, but, but why? why do you need them? I didn't, well, we, you don't need them. We wanted pets. We wanted more pets. So, well, and Sydney. Why does somebody have a cat To be fair, to be fair, pet. like my wife wanted the rats. I mean, we have dogs, we have cats, but she wanted rats because she was torn between the idea of having a bearded dragon or rats. Oh. Um, kind of hard to snuggle with a bearded dragon, so we chose the rats. You can snuggle with a rat? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you guys want to see one? I'll bring one in here know how comfortable I would feel with that. Here. They're adorable. I'll bring one in. I'll grab one. Let me go grab one. Hold on, I'll grab one. I'm kind of scared, to be honest. What are you... It's not going to jump through the screen, and travel five states, well, over, in five states? Well, you know and travel five states over in a country. Five states? Do you know geography, bro? <laughs> they think you're a little too Depending on which direction you throw the rat, it technically could be as close as three. Let me actually see. Hold on, now you got me thinking. How many states Okay, you if you... Okay, let's... I'm actually going to look. If we throw it on a direct, like an actual direct straight line from his house to my house, let's see. Okay, hold on. I gotta see how that angle would go. Does this tell me? Okay, shut up. All right, one second here. One, hey, I'll be all right. I'll be three, three, four, five, hey. six, right. seven. This is Darwin. Eight. Kansas. Kansas. Eight, eight or eight, about eight states. Darwin is a little Kansas. rat. He's a baby rat. Kansas, Missouri, or Iowa. It's a freaking rat. I oh, wait, I gotta see the rat. Oh my gosh. See, I've had See hamsters, tail? and I guess that's like the same thing. They're like they're that. the same thing as hamsters, except they're much smarter. That is not their no, biggest listen. size, though. No, this this he's he's only hamster. like I think we I think we decided he's like six weeks old. Is that Pierre? Decided? This is this is Darwin. So oh, it, it was it wild or was that a pet store? No, it was a pet store. We have a pet store in town that breeds them. <laughs> Matt, search the depths so, of so. the, the desert why for I'm, rat. The reason why I'm questioning that is because here in Canada, we don't sell rats at a pet store. No, not the at all. The fact that he can hold on to no. you at that angle is quite So impressive. our rats we really like to rats. sit on our shoulders, and it's kind of great. We also have mice, but the mice are food for the snakes. Well, so adorable. 
the fact that it just sits there and it's like, yeah, this is my person. So the rat, the rat that took to me, this is the one that took to. Oh, okay, we're going on the mic now. <laughs> the, the, this is so Darwin took to Sydney. So Darwin really likes Sydney a lot. Pierre. Darwin, oh my gosh, I know exactly why you named him. Why? Ratatouille. No. He was, he was named Darwin because of it. Darwin's a scientist. Um, and Charles Darwin. Pierre was another scientist who discovered partially yeah. discovered isn't there, radiation. Isn't there a rat or some kind of? Is it a rat? That's no. That's um. Darwin. What's his name? You know what's a rat? Remy. Remy. Remy the rat. Yeah. Remy. Oh, sorry. Darwin. Darwin's like. Darwin is a guinea pig from the Disney movie G Force. Yes, okay, we're just gonna mount the mic. That's fine. That's that's Humbit, Darwin. Humbit, you weird little thing. I thought that was Darwin. But yeah, so we got two male rats and uh not rat too, yeah. Pierre Darwin. Pierre is not as like social because he was like three weeks, so I like that name for one good reason. So so, so is he like you then? Kind of, yeah. So Pierre like <laughs> Pierre likes to sit on my shoulder and just like hang out, so we'll watch TV and I'll just have him sitting on my shoulder. But that um yeah, so they're just little baby rats. Do claws hurt as they walk across you? Nah, they feel like little. They feel like little, uh, like little pinpricks. They're really not that bad. Here so. for prime minister. I mean, hamster when I was in grade seven. So this was like a little while back. Mm -hmm. And my hamster's name was Ginger. And instead of running inside of the wheel like a normal hamster does, she decided to run on top of the wheel. Ah, uh, my oh. guinea pig did that. Hamsters are kind of dumb. They are, and yeah. then my childhood bestie had two guinea pigs at the same time, and they always stunk. Guinea um, pigs are stinky, and same with, like, ferrets. And I was just like, why would you want, like, a, a hamster I get? Because you can just, like, let them loose in your cage. Yeah. But, like, a guinea pig requires so much work that I'm like, why would you... I had guinea pigs, I had hamsters, I had uh, bunny rabbits... So but I've I had, enjoyed the rats the most because yeah, these guys are I actually had, really smart. I had two guinea pigs. I named them Linny and Tuck after after uh, after the Wonder Pets. Um, <laughs> and my brother had a hamster, and he named him after something that can kill my brother. What, my brother's like allergic to mangoes. My brother's allergic to mangoes. So his name so is he Mango. Named, so oh, his hamster's name was Mango. That's kind of great. All right, I'm going to go put this guy he back. I'll be right back. After something that could kill him. So, Amulet, it's six states and one border crossing away. So you were wrong. Okay, whatever. So it's Oklahoma, Kansas, no, Missouri. No, I, I was right. I was right. I said I was no, going you to said take eight. More than, I said it was going to take more than three You because you said three at first. No, no I five. didn't. Yeah. I said five. Okay. I don't know what you're at least you don't have to padlock the rats get yeah i know they're not that smart oklahoma kansas missouri illinois indiana michigan cross the border so six states <clears throat> six states for what it, it would take if you drove straight, straight to, to my house. canada let's just say canada it would right. take you six states if you did it in the most direct line possible oh if i did I'm not talking take a freeway. I'm talking like if you just plowed straight towards like me, amulet to area. Yeah. Oh, okay. You, like if you flew straight. Yeah, it's pretty far from us. I mean, yeah. And it's pretty freaking cold. I don't know. They don't, don't like cold. You don't get it. They don't, like it. Yeah, we it's don't. Weird. We don't get. It. It's 45 degrees here. Like it's 42 right now, and it's night. So here in Canada, you're. Us Canadians, we get confused with ourselves sometimes. That's we hate the new. so so we hate the cold, and then when it's cold, we beg for the heat, and when the heat finally comes, we oh no, we the do the heat. same shit here. It's like there's never like a good in between. It's just like fall. Gonna... Fall is no, the best time no. of the year. It's two months out of the year. It's September. Yes. Or kind of like the end of September, early October, depending on your yeah. luck. Yes. And then yes. May. Fall. Just fall. Fall's the fall's the perfect time of year. No, it's not. Uh, it's so miserable outside. I've never ever. No, been fall is how not is a fall? Good I, I am. For one reason. I'm genuinely curious. How is fall I, miserable? I just, okay, end of you September. Don't... End of September. Beginning of October is fall. Because fall's no, pretty on. damn nice here. Well, no, okay. Here's why. You don't have trees that change and die that fast. We do. Our our trees start changing in August and then they're done. But no, here, like when you get to like September, October, and it gets to like those days, mm -hmm. as we call them, yeah, it's 
gray overcast skies you don't see the sun for days on end it is rainy it is miserable and it's it sucks. windy Oh, and it's okay. windy. See, we don't but get. You're coming from our our falls are actually quite mild and very nice. I don't yeah, know what see, type no, of fall these two are experiencing because I I like fall, I like fall. Amulet, looking at your wall and going, I like fall does not count. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. We actually have to go outside for that. Well, fuck you both. <laughs> <laughs> I I go it's 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 from love. I Is it though? It, yeah. Um, but no, that's why, like, spring... Why are you... Hold on, I'm gonna mute myself. Springtime is like, one of the best because you're going from the cold to warm. Uh-huh. So you, it feel like... Right now, I walked outside today, it was 32 degrees, and I felt warm. Because, like, oh, it's getting See, warm again. Yes. Yeah. It's... I, I hate it because, like, now we're getting our snow. When I would have preferred to have our snow in, like, you know, actual winter. Not, hey, we're oh, almost yeah, to spring. It is still winter. No, probably. barely. Not here. I'm, I kid you not. It probably hit about like 55 today, which is I'm, not cold. I'm just still very surprised to this day, like how Texas and Albuquerque can still get snow. When I was a kid growing up, I never thought they would. You guys were able to get snow. Heck is a recovery compass. A recovery. So. So Chuck, I'm making the base of the died. monitor right now. So. When you die, what? Hello? You disappeared. Again. Did I lose connection? Uh oh. What? Oh, okay. Never mind. He muted himself. Yeah, I was just trying to listen to where I clipped something because, like I said, I made all my clips wrong, so I'm trying to remake them all. Yeah, I was just making sure I didn't like lose connection. My Xfinity is like being stupid. I'm going to get a new modem on uh, Friday, actually. Because they're all, oh yeah, we have this new one that works a lot better. I'm like, oh cool, I should have that. Why would you need a horn? Need a what? Because why not have a horn? We're playing Minecraft. Oh. Thanks for the invite. I'm just kidding. You want to you wanna join no. Minecraft or look for players? I'm just kidding. If I were more into it, yes. But I'm not super into it. What are you not into right now? Minecraft. No, you're not putting a lead on me. Ooh, kinky. Be rude. <laughs> kinky. <laughs> I mean, you're not. <laughs> hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to hell at some point in my life here. Oh, we're all going to hell, even though I'm Christian. That's the answer. Uh, Oh, it puts down snow. New Mexico spring is magical. So there is, that's true. There is something about New Mexico spring that's very nice. Um, I think my favorite feeling is when Lowe's starts putting out plants. And I'll just go walk along the, the, the greenhouse. <clears throat> that and going to like Osuna greenhouse where we live. Oh, God, that's my favorite. It's like paradise there. Is this the right? I must be the right clip because I haven't gotten an ad yet on your channel. Probably. And I'm subscribed. Because if you can't to... tell, we like plants here. Plants are nice. Can someone help me? Nope. Really? No. Please. You want somebody to help you, but when you get help, you say leave me alone. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Am Amethyst, <laughs> Amethyst, Amethyst destroys amulet. <laughs> I'll help you. I've, I've asked I'll help you right after I destroy your ass. I'm asking for Tex and Matt to help me because you won't leave me alone in Minecraft. And you're just you're just throwing snow everywhere. Standard Believe surface. Me. You know Let's that see. if you ask me for help, I just set everything on fire. Actually, no, you, control right? screen. Alright, so we've got our we have our flat screen. I think this is good enough because you're not even gonna see the back anyway. They're oh. not going to see a, a back out of Easter eggs. <sighs> what happened if you put snow that in no lava? Ever... I always add Easter eggs, and it just ends up stressing me out. All of our friends are in hell. Yes. Wait, all of our friends oh. are in hell? Oh, okay, Chuck. It's a good place to be. Oh, it's warm. 
What? No, it's I've, not. I've been to Hell, Michigan before. Me, who's Christian, <laughs> I don't support what you just said. <laughs> Your actions say otherwise, sir. That is very true. The fact that you're playing Minecraft right now means you're going to burn in hell. That's, yeah. No amulet. That's the you'll burn devil's in hell video when you game. Play Hogwarts Legacy. True. I don't. I actually will go to heaven for that. I really want to play that <laughs> game. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to play that game. I'm going to text you. Stream it? I don't know if I'm going to stream it. Not, no, no. Let's not go there. And down yeah. Path. I don't know if I'm going to stream it, but I do want to play it because I am an avid Harry Potter fan. J.K. Rowling, she can go fuck herself, but I like Rowling? Harry Potter. Whatever. However you say Rowling? her last name, it doesn't even matter anymore. Rowling. Rowling. <laughs> I just want to play an open word. Word? Uh, open, open world. We can't speak today. I grew up. Open world. I grew, Harry Potter game. I grew up playing the original like PS2 Harry Potter, and I loved it. It was great. So the closest thing I've ever gotten to an open world Harry Potter game was Lego Harry Potter. Mm, okay. You guys think and we should I've do? A... Waiting... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. I've been waiting for a full like open world Harry Potter game since I was a kid. Yeah. We finally have it, and I'm. I just. And you're wrong it. for liking it. Get fucked. I don't care what they what the community thinks. I know. Thinks. I don't, I care, don't care either. It's just funny to tell um, you that. What do you guys think? Should we do the painted wall like it used to be, or should we do the brick wall? Do the uh, I don't know. Obviously. I actually don't know. That's I feel scary. like the, the brick wall may be a little bit. Matt says, Madness says brick. Chuck, what do you think? Brick or paint? Maybe do paint. Maybe add sound soundproof panel. Like so, oh, that's like, a good idea. Soundproof it. Like mm. soundproof. Like just for dec it's for decoration. Paint. What are you doing in there? Let's brick and paint. Yourself. Brick and paint. Brick and paint. What does it look like to you, Amethyst? <laughs> I'm torn because like <laughs> the brick looks so good, but the paint also looks pretty good. So I don't know. We'll keep experimenting. File, import. Let's bring that monitor that we just built in. What? An angry what? Stream capture. How do you cheer an angry what? I think she said jerk. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I heard angry jack-o'-lantern. Jack-o'-lantern. You understand my confusion now. <laughs> True. All right, focus. So, it's a pretty good size. It's kind of a big display. Question. Yes. Is Jake doing more keyboard modding tonight? I think so. I think he's got something to do with it. He's, he's going to do more keyboard modding and not play Choo Choo Charles for the <laughs> third time in a row. He's promoted what? that damn game. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you telling me he hasn't actually played the game? He's just no. been doing... No. Every time he oh. wanted, it takes him the two hours. I, I have no sympathy then because he keeps telling me he's like, I keep forgetting to do the wheel. That's his fault. Damn it, Jake. Like literally, like, I'm gonna, it's okay. Choo it's all right. Loaded. It's okay. I'm gonna Choo be here Charles tonight to harass him. Hold on, Matt. Choo Choo Charles takes, according to the developer, between <laughs> three and six hours, depending on how detailed you want to play it. For me, it took about four. Okay. And that's because I tried some things. Fair. It's not a long game. <laughs> and and you and I know this because he, he I'm gonna I'm gonna harass him tonight this. while I'm watching his stream because I get to hang out and watch stream tonight so. I think we all should just harass him. I do that anyways. AI standard surface. Okay, so we need to texture the monitor with the plastic that I made for the TV. Just make the man suffer. Make him suffer. But yeah, Matt, I'm not, like, we're not... Ooh, that's not like, it. He's promoted, he's promoted in a promo poster, like, five times in a row now. That's kind of hilarious, so I'm not going to lie. Charles after he's done modding his keyboard. And he never gets around to doing. We're gonna it. we're gonna make him play it tonight. He's gonna play it tonight. I mean, I mean that being said, he's detailed in his work and stuff like that. But he also, you know, it's like meticulously putting she's all the detailed keys. Detailed in it has his an work, smell, but when it he's good. modding his keyboard in such a way I'd never seen anyone do it. It's his little funky. I mean, it works. Or it smells a little funky. Not taste. It works, but I've never seen anyone put tape in the keyboard. <sighs> TV, TV, don't, TV, don't TV. Worry. If you say this later on Twitch, people will ream you for it. True. <laughs> RCA plug, speaker grill, TV. Where the hell is this texture? 
especially that one dude that came into the stream because of the keyboards. Oh, does he like? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes one, keyboards. He, yeah, one dude. Like get in, get them both. Well, I, I, I don't, I don't dislike the keyboard thing. I, I think it's really cool, especially that Jake found something he likes to do. I just, I don't like. I think they charge too much for the keys. I just. I just don't like the specificity of it all. Like, yeah. I know that sounds dumb, but okay, here's a keyboard. Now you need to change the the the, the switches. Lube them up, put them in, do this, tape it up. It's like, or yeah, you can just buy a keyboard hobby. and go, ta-da. It's a fun hobby. You don't understand. No, I, I, understand. I get it. I no, get and it. I'm not saying it's not fun. I'm just saying that like I, I also lube Rubik's cubes. All right, to I me, lube Rubik's cubes. To me, if I, I had to spend $130, I'd rather buy a Lego than keycaps. Agreed. Hey, Amethyst, why don't you tell Matt what you bought yourself? What'd you okay, get? So my work job, my one job. Okay. Okay. I knew the Lego wildflowers were coming out, and so when I saw them at my one job, I went and bought them. Okay. All by myself. You got nice. Lego wildflowers and a new bouquet. Hell yeah. Amulet, I just by myself for some reason. I bought another one of the Avatar sets. Did you buy have another you, lighting have pack? You, did you, have you bought the Brickheads? Oh shit, where'd that go? Have, uh, you, have you seen the Brickheads? No, I am honestly not a huge fan of the Brickheads. Like any of them. I just think they're kind of dumb. And like oh. expensive for what they are. So I didn't. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't bought any because I'm just like not interested in them. I might get the Avatar ones just because I'm trying um, to get. I'm trying to like. I am never going to be able to say like I've got the whole Star Wars series because it's impossible. But I can say I have the whole Avatar series. And so I I'm sure as hell I'm not going to get the Lord of Rings sets. Lord of the Rings. Oh, sets. I was just about to talk about. That. Fuck, I'm going dude. to buy the uh, the helmet for Commander Cody or or Captain Rex one of the two. Yeah, and I'll still get the um, helmets. Um, I'm, but it's five hundred dollars. But I really want that fucking new Lord of the Rings set coming out. It's too, it's too expensive. There's just what? no it's way. It's too expensive. It's only, it's five hundred dollars. I'm not going to yeah, get it. It's, it's, too, it's, it's too much. I've, never, I've, never I've watched Lord of the Rings. Have Do you know what a Hobbit hole is? Okay, the Hobbit this... hole comes from Lord of the Rings. That it came from like. No, that comes from no, like, yeah, that comes from Lord of the Rings and Hobbit. Okay, I love this anger shot that Amethyst has because my wife did that to me once. She goes, "You watched Lord of the Rings?" I said, "Yes, a long <laughs> time ago, like, oh, long ago." I've never known him to watch that. I so, mean, to be I'm fair, not... that's not a movie that you generally rewatch constantly because it's three and yeah, a half hours like, long. You, you need to actually. I think they're like, hands. aren't they like four like, hours it's long? Like 12, it's like twelve hours to watch all three. Why would you um, for three hours? The Hobbit movies are kind of meh. I enjoyed them. Oh. To be honest, okay, okay, the book, the book is better. The Hobbit, uh, literally, the the Hobbit trilogy though, is carried out for too long. Mm. Literally, the Hobbit is one book. Trying to find a hobby that's not expensive. Download Blender and learn it. It's free. I kid you not. That's if amazing. you so. The Lord of the Rings is three books, so three movies. The Hobbit is one book put into three movies. Yeah. I kid you not. The Fellowship of the Ring, which mm. is one movie, That's better. is and also the book for Fellowship of the Ring is ten times bigger than the, the book of the Hobbit. Yeah. So the fact that they were able to fit the Fellowship of the Ring into a three-hour movie, but it took them a smaller book called The Hobbit to make into three two-hour movies. Well, they did that for money. I know they did it for money, but that's the one complaint I have about the Hobbit movies. Roy, I want birds, but my wife won't let me. I'm gonna have to settle with a frog. I want a bird, yeah, but I they're loud. You call your mom bird? Why? I call her birdie because she gets really distracted all the time. Oh, okay. And, like, her accent reminds me of a bird, so I call her birdie. Birdie, nice. Dig it. Birdie. Birdie. All right. So I need some stuff to fill these shelves with. And I don't yeah, know. The Hobbit holes that I built in my in the Minecraft world we had like three years ago, well, two years ago. It, it, I built that Hobbit hole because I was in my Hobbit face. <laughs> my Hobbit face. I've never, yeah, I've never, a, had a, I've never yeah, had a Hobbit face. COVID, okay, beginning of COVID, I was really, I, I was bored in the beginning of COVID, so I watched the whole, all six movies in the in the Lord of the Rings universe. Okay, I can see that. And during, during beginning of COVID, I had nothing else to do, so I had my whole Hobbit face. 
That's why I, hate... I was obsessed with building hobbit holes in Minecraft. <laughs> I miss COVID. Like, I miss the, the, the start of the pandemic because, like, I started a new job at the beginning of the pandemic. And so I was this new guy that they couldn't train. So I literally just was, like, told, like, log in, be there. Not a big deal. Like, don't worry about doing anything. It's not a huge deal. And so I, the entire time I sat there and I just, like, watched movies and hung out and, like, talked with my new coworkers. But it's just, like, I, I kind of miss that because it was really nice. Yeah, I can't lie. I miss I miss, begin, I, I miss 2020. And I don't, like, I, I don't know why. It's just, like, the, the, like, the way it, the year was for me. I can bring you a, fruit, met, a few amethyst. budgies. I met Amethyst. I started my Twitch. I started streaming on Twitch, but then quit. Um, and like, the, like everything, all the trends on TikTok. Oh Ro my gosh, Roy, what's a budgie? A budgie. A budgie's a type of bird. Is it? A Amethyst. Pet bird. Amethyst knows. I think my so I think my great great not my great great wow I think my great grandma has. Budgie bird. I, I think I think I think Roy and Amethyst might be besties. Oh, you mean sure. oh parakeets? I don't want a parakeet. I was looking at what was I looking at at, at PetSmart the other day that I was thinking would be nice to have uh, cockatiel. My neighbor. But to be fair, Roy, if I ever do get a bird, <laughs> or if I ever get approved to get a bird, <laughs> I'm coming to you. So. My neighbor, when I was a kid growing up, my neighbor, he had, a, they, they had a bird. Mm -hmm. that, that's, I mean, that, that's now dead, obviously. Oh. But my neighbors are known for, like, swearing a lot. So yeah. whenever I went over to my neighbor's house, mm -hmm. they, uh, their bird would just say, Fuck you. You bitch. <laughs> Give me food, bitch. Big sure. See, that's the problem, right? Is, like, the reason I'm not approved is because uh, they're so loud. And Sydney doesn't want loud. So I don't really know how I would keep them not loud. By not having them. Yeah, that's 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 the unfortunate side of it, right? It's like I can't have them. I'd cry a tear for you, but no. I, I just I want one, man. I want not all are like I, that. I know, but like the good ones, the ones that I want. Like I honestly the good ones. The one that I want the most, and it kills me because I'd love to have one, is a cockatoo. And I know we oh. had I know we had this conversation, Roy, because you were you were talking about the black and red cockatoo. Never could I afford one of those, but Jesus Christ, I would love to have one because I would name it Jafar. Oh my God, Iago, Iago. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things. So wait a minute, hold on. Pudge cat's proof. Do something. Oh no. All right, so where am I gonna put this screen that me and Jake have suddenly come up with? Because now what the fuck? <sighs> I'm gonna oh, move, I'm gonna move posters. You made, the, you made the monitor a green screen, but is it is it going to look like very stretched out when you put the YouTube video on? It is monitor? looking a little wide, isn't it? Yeah, like Fuck. I'm just concerned if it's going to be stretched out. I'm gonna Fuck. I'm gonna increase the size of it. The the tip. Yeah, there we go. What did you I'm did you look sad. up how much they cost? No, I'm sad now. Why? I forgot Gilbert Gottfried is dead. Yes, he did die. Did you? No, I know you have a cockatoo. I'd love to have a cockatoo. I love cockatoos. Doesn't Roy have two now? No, he has one. He's a bunch of birds. He, what's, the, what's the new bird that he just got? Oh, that's, that's, uh, a that's an Amazon. Great. Uh, not an Amazon. Wasn't it a great parrot? No, it's it's a, it's a green one. It's just like Kitty. Oh, okay. Echo. That's right. That's right. Echo. Um. So my... Roy, I'm not a bird person. Amazon. Okay, it is an Amazon. You know what I hate? So I've got this YouTuber I watch. He's a, he grows he grows his own food and everything. He's in Australia. I thought you were about to say he grows birds. No, like, this this fucking guy. He like he's like one of my favorite YouTubers because he's like a self sustainable guy. So he like freeze dries all his food that he grows and he like he's super environmentally friendly. But anyway, he lives in Australia, so he literally has cockatoos just like pigeons, just chilling, just hanging out. And I'm like, I hate you. I'd love that. I made a wall in Minecraft, boys. Congrats. I'm moving this poster. This one's not important -ed -ed enough to keep there. And then Masonic Dew. What do I do with you? 
No, I would hate to live around them in the wild. Really? I think it'd be so cool. I'm just so I'm so tired of crows and pigeons because that's all we have, and the occasional finch. We got we got like hawks and shit. We have hawks. In the summer, we have an owl. It's terrifying. That's cool. I'd love to. Have oh, an just owl. terrifying. It'll be I like know terrifying we'll be people. sitting on the deck, just enjoying a drink in the middle of the night, and you'll just hear <laughs> like really loud, and it'll be like, "What the fuck?" What the fuck? Because we think it's a screecher. They can rip off your mirrors. <laughs> oh god, I could see that as being problematic. How much for a Masonic Jew? Nine hundred ninety-nine dot ninety-nine. Two fifty-nine. Very expensive. Premium age. I don't know what to do with this poster though, because like, well, shit. So. Here's an idea. This one is going to get moved. Do they need to have thumbtacks? No, but I'm a glutton for detail. We're going to move this here. We're going to move this one down. And this is where we're going to put the wall screen. So the wall screen is going to show the current poster, but it's going to be like a hologram. Which is going to be super neat. Rescue has a cockatoo for you right now. $400 adoption fee. And that's exactly why I can't have one right now. <laughs> because just the cage alone would kill me. <clears throat> you have a whole do motive for f tableau, if you will. Exactly. What was it that Matness just told me? That we made them all, sad. man. Masonic do code dead. Masonic Dew Baja Bits and Masonic Dew Lightwire. Why for some reason did I forget that it was Baja Bits and I thought it was Baja Bitch? No, it's just Baja Bits oh. because, you know, Twitch. Um, Matt has told me this. He bought an Arizona. Iced tea? Yeah, and it wasn't a dollar. I heard that in some places they were like a dollar twenty nine now. That's just... I, I know that the bottles could get there, but the cans, like, no. So you know, you know what's funny about those? I uh, I bought a can once from uh, the gas station where I used to work, e. and so I got it back to my desk, and I was sitting there, and I was like looking at it. It had this piece of plastic hanging off of it, and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" And so I grabbed it and I started pulling, and as I pulled, my um, what was it? It Pants was fell a, down. No, it was a uh, <laughs> thank you. It was an Arnold Palmer, the Arizona Arnold Palmer. Those are my favorite. But as I unraveled it, it was in a soda shack can. <laughs> and awesome. I was I was so confused because I'm like, why is this in a soda shack can? And so I looked it up, and it turned out that Arizona uh, made so many cans for the soda shack line, and it sold so poorly that they had all these like surplus cans because they killed the line. So they legit were canning their normal drinks in the soda shack cans and then That's slapping so a new label on them. That's still dumb. It was so funny. It freaked me out, though, because I'm like, what the hell? This is not what I bought. No, that's not what I needed. But, fun story. No, we supply the cage. Really? How does that work out? That's an interesting thing I didn't know about. I mean, the reality is I still won't be able to do it, but it's cool that you guys supply the cage. All cages are donated to us. Oh, shit, that's nice. Well, they're using it to, like, give the birds a new home. It's all like I was going to say, you guys aren't like Petco, where you guys have, like, a set cage where you you hold them. And I assume you can't for birds that you rescue I because of... I think you of... might have just insulted him with that statement. Well, it's hard, right? Because, like, I've never been to a bird rescue, so I don't necessarily know how they work. Like, I know you guys rescue the birds, but I figured you had, like, some sort of, like, holding system. But that makes more sense because now that I think about it, like, you can't necessarily keep two birds together that were rescued in different locations. Those cages get expensive, too. Actually, no. I think the thing that Roy told me that made me go, nope, can't do a bird, is how expensive the toys are. The toys aren't bad, man. 
No, but his problem is, is that his birds mutilate him so fast. He's buying them like every other week almost. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Like they are like they're five, five, five to ten bucks per toy, depending on what you buy. But like Roy, what was the budget you told me you spend a month on it? If you don't mind. Well, me that Roy it. is a different example. OK, he no, has Roy is the standard. He has a lot of birds. If you only had one bird, you wouldn't be buying that many. Oh, Roy's here. Okay, you know, for this conversation, <laughs> I gotta fucking be in here for that. Okay. All right, so me and Amethyst are gonna head out. I gotta take her. Okay, uh, okay man. Have a good night. Bye bye. <laughs> all right, so I'm cons I, I want to know, like, so is this budget for all of your birds? Did he hang? Did he quit? You you kicked him, didn't you? No, I kicked him. You know oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you kicked so Matness. Hex. I didn't kick Matness. What? Wait, who got kicked? Somebody Hex got. Wasn't in here. Somebody got kicked. I huh? got kicked. Oh yeah, Roy got kicked. I did not kick you. I have a oh? There's Matt. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. What's happening? <laughs> so what? Well, so explain your explain your yeah. Uh huh. Dead straight to have a toy that can survive a cockatoo longer than an hour, <laughs> you're looking at at least a $50 toy. Oh, shit. shit. And I normally go through, if I decide to keep his cage fully stocked, <sighs> right. I go through probably four to five toys every two weeks. So are these, are these like, long. are these like the, like the wooden toys that you get them? You can't do anything else. Everything else is toxic for a Because you can't plastic do plastic, plastic right? Yeah. yeah. It's plastic. And technically, those toys at Petco are bad for birds. You have to use hemp rope and other things because the fake rope, the oh. artificial rope, if they ingest it, it builds up in their crop and can end up uh, biting See, yeah, and and, and that was something we learned, too, when we were getting the rats is they were just like, oh, you can buy bird toys for the rats. I'm like, oh, these aren't that expensive, but I could see that being an issue, yeah. And you gotta remember, that's just my cockatoo. Do you do you get toys donated for the other birds or no? I buy all my toys for my birds. Oh, do you? Um, Where do you get them? Do you order them or do you just go to Petco or places like um, that? I refuse to go to Petco to buy toys. Oh, okay. Because all um, every toy at Petco, other than these little kebab ones that they have, yeah, every single one of them is technically um, not bird safe. See, and that's what we got. The rats was kebab toys. Like the the we got the wooden the wooden uh, slices because they're like cut from an actual branch. That a lot of people oh, are like. Uh, also, heads up uh, on cockatoos. Mm -hmm. um, Pudge got a little too close. His cage got a little too close to our wall, and now we oh, have shit. missing. Oh, good. And our blinds and yeah. our curtains. I'm used to like stuff like that, like that, like our dogs and cause the mayhem. The drywall's a pain. No, literally, literally, my macaw. When I had him up against the drywall, he mm -hmm. literally cut a hole in it. Oh Jesus! And that was literally overnight. Yeah, you gotta be careful, cause like, so when we got our puppy, we we weren't paying attention where she was, and so we had her crate near my um my my bedside table. But it was also really close to our um, uh, dresser. And we didn't realize it, but when she was in her crate during the day and we weren't home, she was actually chewing the dresser, which was brand new. So our dresser has a massive chunk missing out of the bottom of it. Was this Freya? Yeah. Nope. Shocker. So that was that was a very disappointing thing. So I, I, I feel your pain with that one. <laughs> um, so let me... Um real quick now that I can touch on to this. So to go along with the rescue conversation, mm -hmm. our vet bills normally don't, like, uh, we, our adoption fee is just the vet bill. Oh. If the bird comes with a cage, then we do not charge for the cage. If the cage is, if we have to go out and buy a cage for a bird, then you charge then for we, it. Like a hundred bucks. So you guys basically charge off of, like, what you put into them? Yes. Just to get reimbursed. Interesting. Because we are a non-profit. But yeah. Um, we also will supply typically a one month worth of food. Oh wow! And we typically also give at least a couple days worth of toys. So I'm curious, what do you feed your cockatoos? Um, pellets and uh, bird chop, which is a blended uh, like fruits and veggies. Oh okay. So you do pellets? You don't do seeds or anything? Seeds are bad for birds. Are they really? Oh yeah. 
<laughs> um, only certain types of birds are meant to eat seeds full time. And Interesting. Like even parakeets slash budgies. Yeah. Um, even them, they're not supposed to be on seeds. Do you call them budgies because they're cheap or what? No, budgies is actually what the entire world calls them. The United States are the only ones that decided, let's call them parakeets. It figures we would do something that's stupid. What are you doing, Matt? I'm adding pipes right now, so I'm going to do like kind of like a... I'm trying to add some like futuristic like slash cyberpunky vibes, so I'm adding like pipes and shit. But let's just say the last box of toys I ordered like a week ago mm -hmm. is half empty, and it ran me about 350 bucks. Good God, just man. For is it just because their beaks oh, are so strong or what? They have a 2,000 PSI bite force when they're that big. They have that much bite force? They, they can cut your finger clean off if they want to. Ooh, that's terrifying. Why do you think I can't feel half of my fingers? Because they just bite you all the time? Well, I deal with aggressive birds. Oh, well, that, birds yeah, that's true. Aggressive birds. That's true. You would be amazed if you saw how many scars I actually have. You've shown me. It's true. I've never actually seen, like, your hand hand, so. I'm just waiting for you to show me that you're missing a finger at some point. I, <laughs> well, I would hope that never happens. That'd be terrible. Yeah, if it happens, it happens. I probably won't feel it anyways. Mm-hmm. I'll probably look down and go, oh, it's gone. All right, so we're going to refresh <laughs> this render and see how it's looking. See if it's looking spicy or not. Yeah, no, I've always wanted one, and like, the reality is, is I'll probably never get one. Terrible. I, 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 terrible. They're I so do, pretty. I know they're, I know they are, but they're terrible birds. I love Pudge. They are terrible birds. <laughs> Would I ever get rid of them? No. See. Would I buy another one? Most likely. It's like a, a, there you birds. go. It's like a love hate <laughs> relationship. Okay, let me just say, like, when I get home, just because he doesn't like me, yes, he swears at me, but most of the time. He's just screaming non-stop because he's pissed I'm home. I think that's the other aspect that I really want to burn for is to teach it words. You're an asshole. Because <laughs> there's this bird. Um, I don't know. I, I saw it on TikTok. And um, he was on top of his cage. And uh, the lady who was working in the kitchen, she dropped something. And the bird's all, God damn it. And he, he starts like waddling away. And he goes, I'm a bird. <laughs> look up... Uh, I don't ask me to spell it. I can't remember. Look up a gala mm -hmm. cockatoo. A gala cockatoo? Honestly, it's a medium-sized cockatoo, and they're generally pretty quiet. I spelled it right. Holy shit. Oh, I've seen these guys. Yeah, the pink ones. Yes, they are amazing medium-sized birds. That's a good-sized bird. Are they loud? Uh, the, no. Out of all the cockatoos, they're probably the quietest. Interesting. How much are they? Um, babies, you're probably looking about six, seven thousand. Never mind. Um, and was, good luck finding them in the rescue world. I was gonna look, but never mind. Um, rescue wise, typically you're probably looking at about three to four hundred. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Why is that so expensive to people? Well, three to four hundred for a bird's not bad, I guess, because we spent three hundred dollars on the rats. Okay, but I'm just gonna like argue. Excuse with me, wait a minute. That, Hold on. But, How much did you spend on rats? Okay, to be fair, the rats were twenty dollars a piece, but the cage, okay, the cage, that, the cage was two hundred. Cages you're are fucking the rats and the equipment. Everything that we bought for okay. the rats was three hundred dollars. Yeah. But like, you don't want to know what my most expensive cage is. I do. Isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, Bubby's. Yeah, it's Nix's. How much was it? Um, brand new from King's Cage ran me, I think it was like five and a half thousand. Holy shit. Because his bite force out of every bird I got in the house is the strongest. See, now that yeah, makes he sense. He literally break the bars. That makes sense because the bird could technically break itself out of the cage and cause mayhem. But rats don't need, like $200 for a rat cage is just overkill. Like, it doesn't need to cost that much. Yeah, high end padlocks. It, Pudge's cage that's crazy. He knows how to open his doors. That's nuts. And no matter what cage we put him in, within 24 hours, if it's not padlocked, he will get out. Wow. And when he gets out, he finds the nearest <laughs> thing to chew on and then chews on it. Did my Maya just crash? Don't tell me it crashed. Come on. 
You sound like you need to play a video game. I think my Maya crashed. Oh no. Oh uh, no. My monthly budget for food, veggies, and all that's typically about another four or five hundred. I could see Did that. Did you ever get that food for Nick? Nope. Hmm. I'm going hmm. I'm I'm to I'm I'm let it sit there for a minute. And we're going to hope that it comes back. It's supposed to be in today. Do you order most of your food or can you get it locally? Um, I use, I feed my birds specialty food because I don't like all the local brands. Hmm. Rowdy Bush is the only local brand that I'll use and none of my birds take to it other than our cockatiel. Gotcha. Maybe I can cancel the render. Just come on. Don't don't crash on me, baby. Please don't crash on me, baby. I've changed so much without saving. God, I hate Maya. What have we learned today? It's usually I'm pretty good about it. I, I haven't the problem is is when you're streaming and doing this, you have to remember like the things that you do unconsciously. Yeah, I get that. And unconsciously I save every five minutes. But Maya doesn't have an autosave feature. Why do I not have... Hey, Tex. I think it crashed. Tex. Yes. <laughs> I'm working because I wanted to release that clip on Instagram today, but I couldn't because it was edited wrong, so I'm re-editing it right now, actually. Did you at least clip it on Twitch? <laughs> oh, God. That's so it should cool. still be on Twitch because it was taken on Twitch, right? What? No, I did not clip it. I, I, um... Oh. Fuck. vertical it. I mean, I can still do that. It's not a problem. Also, Roy, I gotta send you something else. I wasn't able to get the whole thing because I think the video's gone. But oh, I got about no. 30 minutes of you, Madness, and I screaming scrumps. Nice. It's not... 30 it's... whole minutes? <laughs> well, no, it's the 30 minutes. I think it's like an eight-minute clip of us just screaming it. <sighs> it's not gonna save... Still eight minutes? That's a lot of scrumps. That's, that's a lot. That, that's a lot of scrumps. Do you even know who scrumps? Oh yeah, you were watching when we were screaming scrumps. Yeah. It's like I don't know which ones that you've seen and which ones you haven't. Expert's horrifying. This is making me real sad. But if you're looking for a bird that's quiet-ish, uh -huh. I can help with that. Maybe no bird's gonna be dead silent. No, and like I think that's the problem is like. Because, like, we already deal with enough with the dogs. It's fine. Pudge just picked up the our dog's barking, and it's oh, hilarious. See, that would be the worst. That would it's probably be the literal like worst. Puppy. Sounds like our puppy. So we're all just, like, we're, we'll be uh, oh, man. going to bed at night, and we just hear... <laughs> <laughs> like, Go to bed. Fuck. I'm going to have to kill it. I got to kill it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, yeah, that was dead dead. Normally when it kills that quickly, it was dead dead. God damn it. But can I just say something? Yes. I turned no. off Crisp on uh, Discord. Uh-huh. Have you heard any of my birds? No. No. I can help with that. Interesting. When you don't have high energy uh -huh. around them, and or it's called over heightening. Um, if you don't over heighten them with high energy or like too much affection, I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things. About so what it. you're saying is, if you don't love your birds, they'll not be loud. Pretty much is as long as you are just mellow and not like inner like playing with them or like cuddling with them or anything like that. Yeah. Generally, they're pretty quiet. I can see that. Maybe lock them door and turn you would think it'd be the opposite because if you're not hanging out with them and chilling with them all the time, that they would be like. It's called flock calling, hmm. and that is when they've been locked up too long. Stick, I know, I, I, it, it hurts. Because most of the time, um, if they start flock calling, if they were out of their cage, they're going to be wandering your house trying to find you. Right. You oh. just want a bath buddy like me, because I never even get to take a freaking shower or a bath by myself anymore. So when are you installing the bird perch in the bathroom? Oh. It's already installed. That's cool. Never mind. It's gotta gotta wait for PVC, Maya to stop having a, a seizure. It's a PVC pipe with suction cups drilled into it, so you just suction cup it up there, right. and then they just stand on the perch. Nice. That's cool.
So it's just in the shower? Yeah, it just pops on and off on the wall. Nice. I mean, it, and it's rated for, like, Scarlet Macaw weight, so, like, three, four pounds. Oh, so that's not with bad. With those suction cups. So scary that a bird that's only, like, two, three pounds can bite can, your finger can, off. Can do that, yeah. I don't know if you want that while you're, like, naked in the shower. Ah, I see you have another perch for me. Take a bite of the forbidden sausage. It's just another bird perch. Not a toy, don't touch it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I remember most of what I did, so this isn't a total loss. I just have to redo it real quick. I'm kind of upset about that, not gonna lie. But... It's okay. I didn't do anything crazy. You have one hour to catch up. Safe scene. Oh, I can catch up in like five minutes. It's not a huge deal. Import. I'm talking to you. Let's try this. Hey, Pudge! Huh? That was a bird? No, give him a second. No, wait. Was the what? Yeah, because I heard what. Can you hear him now? Yeah, I can hear him now. Oh my god. Why not know why? <laughs> what is he What is he saying? He's just throwing a temper tantrum. It's a cock cockatoo temper tantrum. That's hilarious. Also, can you please turn on Crisp? You're like deafening me. How about now? So that's what Crisp is doing. Crisp is wow, Crisp is actually removing quite a lot of back noise. Yeah, it's not a bad program, really. Let's see. Modify, edit, group. Modify, center pivot. God damn it, man. I hate it when Maya <laughs> does that. Did you hear that or no? No. Yes. I didn't. So, um, Cat walked in to go say hi to Pudge. Uh -huh. And then he just goes, hi, Pudge. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, so he knows his name. Yeah, he knows his name. That's funny. But it's so funny because when I go in there, he's just nothing but pissed. <laughs> but the second cat goes in there he baby talks her because he will say hi pudge and he'll be like hi and all this stuff like those are some <laughs> words he knows so he will say the same thing to me but it's just super loud like he's just screaming it at me second she walks in you just hear this hi pudge that's great hi hi like this baby talk it's that could also be serious. terrifying though if you're like walking through your house in the middle of the night hi pudge hi did you not hear the horror story yet no First time I ever played Phasmophobic. Oh, well, I'm not letting you out! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. He's full on screaming. Word, I don't think the word amazing is the right option because now oh, yeah. Cat probably wants that, to kill you. That's what he likes to say, though. The reason why I screamed, I, I'm not letting you out, is because when one of us is pestering him, he'll literally scream, Let me out! That's his horror stab noise. That's amazing. Oh, that sounds like my car alarm going off. <laughs> That's honestly amazing. I love that. I'm sure Cat hates what it. What is the word I would use? No, but I love it because it's not in my house. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back and you'll probably hear me giggling. I'm okay. going to say hi. He's throwing an absolute fit. Yes, yes he is. That's amazing. Wait. Roy's in that room now because he's quiet. Monitor Bessel. Oh god, that's so funny. Every time him and I, like, will stream or if he's on my stream or something, I will hear it in the background and I go, What's happening now? <laughs> Why? He's just throwing a fit, man. Safe scene. Alright, so we're gonna rebuild hey, that go. screen. Here we go. He's about to start tantrum. Ah! It, it legit sounded like he just, like... <laughs> Was like getting murdered. Uh -oh. Did he bring him in? <laughs> no, he will bite the shit out of me if I even touch him. Oh wow! No, he starts m evil laughing. You could probably. Oh wow, that's terrifying. <laughs> that's horrifying. <laughs> so the horror story, though. Let me turn this down. Okay, so the horror story is is so the first time I ever played Phasmophobia. Uh huh. This is with Kitty, my Amazon. Me and Kat were sleeping, and Kitty used to be in the same room as us because she um, 
she's still a Velcro bird, but uh-huh. um, now she can actually sleep in a room instead of being in our bedroom. Yeah. So she used to be at the foot of our bed. Middle of the night, like we're just at that like half asleep, half awake phase, like we were just dozing off, but you're still awake. Yeah. And all I hear is, hello. Ooh. Hello. No. It is, oh my god. Chills oh. Went all the way up my Fuck spine, no. Woke cat up, and we're both like, please say that was the bird. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh amazing. god, I that would be terrifying. That would be the concern, right, as you teach it something or it learns something that you didn't want it to learn. Well, you remember what Trixie used to say. Yeah. <laughs> I miss her. <laughs> she was a gray parrot, right? African gray. Yeah. African gray, yeah. Do you not have another African gray? No, I do not. I oh. want, I'm... I hear they're pretty popular. I don't want to do it, but then again, I kind of want to. Is I might do a dono go. Because I have been offered a discounted rate on a baby African Grey. That is, an African Grey is the last on my list of dream birds other than the Gothic Cockatoo, which I'm never going to get because those are like twenty something thousand dollars. Is it the black and red one? Yeah, that's the yeah. Gothic Cockatoo. Those are like so pretty. 23000 I think, right now. So, ex- so fucking expensive, but so pretty. That went up again? Why are they so... Can they not be bred... Is that why? Or no, they just there's very few people that breed them. Okay. It's a marketing scheme in the breeding. See, so yeah, I keep. Oh I, shit! That reminds me, I ordered fucking plants from Etsy. Yeah, ethically breed. See, that's my thing, right? Like, I want to find something that I could like grow and make money off of, or like breed and gr- make money off of. But like, I'm, I don't want to do it for animals because I'm not attentive enough. So I order plants. This is a man with dogs, cats, and... Uh, well, I'm attentive to keep them, you know, alive, but, like, as far as, like, shipped with La Posta. What the fuck does that even mean? I don't even know. Um, I, I don't think I'd be... I don't think I'd be cool with, like, keeping up with, like, breeding them. I'm, I, I do want to breed tropical fish. That's a, that's a good one. Or coral. Uh, and I did coral when I had my reef. I used to... Is that a cage... Is too expensive, but you want to do a saltwater tank. See, and that's because that's what I'm willing to put my money in. Uh, technically, I already have the tank, though. Yes, but you do realize, I forget how old you are, but you do realize if you got a baby right now, it'd outlive you, right? Oh, no, it would. I'm 30. It would outlive me 100%. I think that's the other concern my wife has, because she's like, you have to put them in your will. That's fine. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I don't give a crap if a doctor says well, you got to get rid of the birds because they're killing you. Let them kill me then. <laughs> Let me die. I've grown up with birds and I'm always going to have birds. Yeah. I don't know. Someday. Someday I'll convince her. Um, I So is she worried about loud during the day? Yes. At night. Night's not a problem. No. No. Give them 30 minutes and they're asleep. Interesting. Yeah, bir- the only birds that make noises are doves and pigeons at night. And their little thing is just a coo while they're asleep. Sometimes mm. from a cockatoo or like my Amazons, they'll talk in their sleep. Yeah. But it's like... What do they say? Kitty just says hello all the Murder. time. Murder. Like, Murder. Hudge will just kind of hear like oh, this. Welcome, Sunken Lamp, to the Instagram Live. Hi. How are you, buddy? Like in a kitty voice. I'm so not used to it. I need to figure out how to get all of my chats in one. You can't. Be sad. There has to be a way. But, uh, I will be 100% honest with you. No bird's going to be quiet. No, and that's, that's why we haven't gotten one. Just because, like, there's, like, really no... There's no way to guarantee that it'll, it'll be quiet or it'll it be. My heart. It breaks my heart here and someone wants to be a bird person, I know. And they can't because they're too loud. I know. You can work on it. <laughs> I really hope that this is not true because that's stupid if that is true. What? Just saw a picture that says somebody 
was charged $4,500 for coffee. And it looks like Starbucks broke the system and gave him a gratuity of like. No, I did see that. It was true. That's ridiculous. It's, was it like I'd be did so the pissed. Person do that or like somebody? No. So they so Starbucks now allows you to do a gratuity, and because of that, somebody like I, I guess they must have like leaned on the keypad or something that caused it to type out all the fours. But yeah, it totally happened. Um, Starbucks like gave him a refund and then gave him some sort of like compensation package too before it happening. I right, we're, we're Echo saved. And, are my quietest birds. and what are they? Echo's, Amazons. They're the Amazons. Echo's pretty quiet. She, just unless you annoy the shit out of her, she's actually pretty good. So like Echo's on been on my shoulder like most of this time. Oh shit! Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Hello. That little squeaky noise always just makes me so happy. It's pretty great. No, I love I love birds. I think you get a very aggressive one. I think my thing is and like I and that's why like I'm not entirely sure I want a bird. Like I do want a bird, but like I'm not entirely sure like I'm ready for a bird. I know I want something exotic because I miss my fish. Because my saltwater tank was like my pride and joy. You can get an Oscar. <laughs> yeah. How is Oscar? Is, is Jesus still there? Yeah, Jesus is still here. How? I don't know because Mango's now trying to eat him again. <laughs> That's good. That's what you want. No, that that goldfish has been there for what? Three almost, different big fish. <laughs> almost wait, two months. Wait, 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 wait. You have a goldfish in your cichlid tank? Yeah. That's and it's still it. alive? Yeah, That's he disappeared why we... for three days, and I thought he finally got eaten, and then magically he's back in the tank, and I was like, Holy oh, well, shit. your name is now Jesus. Here, let me see, let me see if I can pull up, I'll show you guys what my original reef tank used to look like. Let's see. Am I talking too loud? Why are you getting mad at me? Don't you bite me. <laughs> How uh, is Echo recovering, by the way? Just, she is, no, that's not the full reef. breathing issue is finally starting to go away. Oh, that's good. You gotta bite, bite it. I won't move. What is what is she biting? Is this it? I think she no. hears you both in my headset, and she's getting pissy for some reason. Ah, uh, where's well, the? Hello, little birdie. Are you kind trying to figure out where I am? I'm in another state. This might confuse you because you don't understand all the words. Ah, uh, here we go. Understand. So this was my this was my Pico twenty gallon reef tank. So, I had a lot of coral. <laughs> it was a beautiful tank, but. I'm not seeing any of this, by the way. You're not seeing it? It's on... It's, Wait, am I just... I think I'm... You might be it. backwards, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, <clears throat> it, uh... Why is it ass balls? Because it was taken with a Samsung Omnia. No, it's because my stream's at 1080p. Oh, gotcha. At one, or 144p, sorry. But, uh, yeah, so this tank was great, and I loved it, but the problem is, is I got a breakout of a toxic algae called Dino... And it turned out that the outbreak was caused because the tank was actually too clean. Yeah, you have to keep some form of algae in there at all times if you're doing a coral. It tank. wasn't algae, algae, it was bacteria. I killed all the bacteria because I had a UV sterilizer. Oh, you idiot. Well, it was recommended so you to me. The ecosystem. Yeah, so the ecosystem was so perfect, it was imperfect. You want to know what's the weirdest way to... Uh, this is a random fact of the day. You want to know what's the weirdest way to kickstart a saltwater aquarium? Throwing a dead fish in there? No, you pee in it. Yep. Huh. Yeah, you pee in a saltwater aquarium, then let it sit for a week, and it'll kick up the bacteria that's needed, and then you get the pH balance and everything. I had never heard that one. Fish in it. I used yeah, to... Because the way I started mine was with a dead shrimp. See, as weird as it sounds... Um, you cannot perfectly clean the ocean because if you like over sterilize the ocean, the issue you'd get is that you'd kill everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, algae needs like, like trees need carbon dioxide, like coral needs it. Doesn't mean like go start polluting oceans. No, so. you should never do that. But it, it's true. It's true. Like the ocean has to be some sort of filthy because like, um. It's the it's the nitrates and the nitrites, right? If you kill all the nitrates and the nitrites, and and one of the reasons why my tank was so sterile is because the filtration I was running on it was built for like a almost a 100 gallon tank, because they don't make filtration 
for saltwater reef tanks that small unless you buy a specific tank for it. And I didn't want to do that because it was expensive. But I learned my lesson. But yeah, that's my that's like my my pinnacle. Like when I get to start that again, which I plan at the end of the month to start building the base of my tank. I'm I'm super stoked for it. Cuz I already have the tank. I've got the 75 gallon tank. Want another one? No. <laughs> I got like I got my 100 gallon, I got a 50 and a 75. Oh man. Only the one that my Oscar is in is set up. Are they all occupied? No. Oh, Just okay. The Oscar one. Yeah, I used to have a Electric Blue Jack Dempsey. Okay. Um, it got killed by a Picosmus. I'm sorry, a Pleco killed it? Yeah, did you not know Plecos go protein crazy? I, I've never had one do it. Yeah, I don't like plecos. I, I used to have them all the time too. I had a big I pleco. This is the guy who just got a pleco and then got rid of it in like two seconds. That's how it goes, though, right? You like look at it and you're like, "I want one again," and then you get it and you're like, "Now I remember why I didn't want one." Well, plecos go protein crazy. Interesting. And when they do that, that's how come um, some baby plecos. Uh, now, why do they? Is it because they don't have enough algae to feed on? No, they just get curious one day and nom on a fish scale, and then next thing you know, they go protein crazy. Son of a bitch, I never had that happen. That's crazy. And they will murder fish. Like I will say this. I don't like touching plecos. When I sold my freshwater tank, I had to touch it to get it out of the tank. That was like the worst experience of my life. I hated it. But I will say this, and I'm fine saying this. Plecos? I don't like. They're the only... Probably only animal in the world that if I someone gave me a pleco or tried to surprise me one in a pleco, it's not going to make it through the night. <laughs> because I have had plecos kill some very expensive fish. Yeah. I never, yeah, my pleco never did that. I did have, um. But was it bigger than all the other fish? Yes, it was. My pleco was, um. When I got rid of it, it was about 13 inches. So it was a good size. Um. Probably weighed about a pound. A full grown oh no, I know. Uh, oh wait, what is it? A full grown electric blue Jack Dempsey. Uh uh. They're like about a two hundred dollar fish and it killed it. Oh shit. Yeah, that pleco was in the trash that night. I always wanted the flush. When I did the freshwater <laughs> fish, I always wanted a uh, a set of discus. Oh discus is Discus are fun. They're gorgeous, but you can't find them anywhere, and if you do, you have to order them online. They're expensive as shit. I got, like, three fucking fish stores that sell them. We never had anything here that did. Well, I guess you're coming up here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want fresh water ever again. I like fresh water. I like my aggressive tanks, because one of our places also sells legally, because they're, hard, they're real easy to get them illegally. Because they have to be a specific breed, but they sell piranhas, and I want a tank full of them. They sell fucking piranhas? Yeah! Holy fuck. The only thing in Utah you're not allowed to have are freshwater uh, stingrays and a couple handful of other freshwater fish. Really? I think, you can, I think you can actually have those here. Our climate is, like, perfect for them. For them to survive? Yes. And that's why. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. That's crazy. Yeah, stingrays is something I've always wanted, too. Do you know one parrot that is not allowed in most states is uh, the, it's a Quaker. What's a Quaker? Yeah. They're cute and they're pretty quiet. They're about I'm the looking size it of Kanye. Quaker parrot. Oh, why are they not allowed? Because they can survive in a lot of our environments. And oh. ringnecks are also uh, not allowed. Super pretty. Indian ringnecks are my favorite. I love the blue feathers on the tips of the wings. You want to know why they call them Quakers? Why? Because when they're overexcited, they look like they're having seizures. Oh. Like these are their whole body shakes. These aren't allowed? I've seen people have these. A lot of states you can, but a big chunk okay. of states you can't. Gotcha. But the biggest one is Indian ringnecks. Interesting. They're actually illegal in Wyoming because they can survive. They're very pretty. There's These actually, are the ones I see on TikTok all the time, actually. Yeah, what you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I love, uh, I, I don't know, I love tropical stuff. So, like, tropical rainforest, like, 
frogs, things like that. I love it. Indian ringnecks. There's actually wild flocks in New York because people let them go, and now no shit. Breed. Yep. Wow. Well, you know, Florida now has macaws, right? Because people let them go. I have heard that. Yeah. Which you know, Florida doesn't give a fuck anyway. So. I mean, they kind of like. I feel like they would be okay in Florida. Well, the climate out there is perfect. For yeah, I mean, like you know, you go to like Disney's Animal Kingdom, and they're constantly flying them around. You want to see one of the most expensive birds you can buy? Yeah. High, hyacinth macaw. Hyacinth. And I'll give you a weird fact after you look at them. Macaw? I just, I'm sure I spelled that wrong. Oh, these guys, yes. You what? ready for the weird fact? Yeah. The human eye perceives it as blue. They're actually gray. Are they really? Yep. How do we know? How do we know that? Because when you actually, if you look at some of them, you'll actually see that they are... Oh, yeah, and you can see the... Blue. Interesting. Yep, but they, because of how their feathers are, mm -hmm. we perceive it as blue, but they're actually, like, but they really are gray. You know what I blame my wanting a parrot on? Mm. I blame it on my elementary school. I'm trying to convince him to get a parrot. He's, yeah, Roy's trying to convince me to get a bird. Um, my elementary school, when Who's I was in school, it's, it's Jake... Um, when, when we were in school, we had a parrot or we had a macaw, we had a scarlet macaw and it was like our, this. yeah, yeah. So we had a scarlet macaw in our uh, admin office. And so like during lunch, we could all go and like, look at it and hang out with it. It was our school mascot. And like, ever since then, I've been like, I want a bird. There you go, Jake. I've got the screen on the wall now. Hey, hey, yeah. can I give you some marriage tips? Sure. It's easier to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, that's a really bad idea. Just bring one home. It's okay. You know, it's, work out. Oh, it's funny. I thought about it <laughs> once because Sydney has a tattoo. She has a watercolor tattoo on her shoulder of a scarlet macaw. Uh -huh. I was like, wouldn't it be funny if I just like brought one home and be like, oh God, your tattoo came to life. What are we going to do? <laughs> Guess we got to keep it. But I mean, scarlets are pretty expensive too, aren't they? Which bird did I bring home that you weren't ready for? <laughs> yes. All of them. It was Nick's, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we went down to, um, so this is a rescue known worldwide. Called yeah. Best Friends. Utah's the only facility that actually houses birds. So anytime anybody um, turns in a parrot or any kind of bird, they, go, uh -huh. they come to Utah. And so we went down there looking for a, maybe another Amazon or something like that at the time. Nope, I walk in and they're like, and I walk past the macaws and Bubby was sitting, hanging on his cage, sticking his tongue out at me. And I just, <laughs> I couldn't walk away from him. Like, it was just nonstop. Like, I was pestering him and he was trying to, yes, he was trying to bite me because he didn't know me. But it was like, we were pestering each other. And then I was like, nah, he's coming home. <laughs> now I have a macaw. That's great. Also... What was it? Three days ago was his um, adoption date. Yeah, oh, his 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 it. gotcha date. Yep. That's cool. What's up, Death Metal Hippie? How are you? He stuck his tongue at me three years ago. Three days ago. That's cool. Yeah. Like I said, I love everything exotic. Like I was even like while we were getting the rats, I was looking at the hedgehog. I was like, I could get this. I would love to have a hedgehog. They're so fun. We used to babysit my mom's friend's hedgehogs. Mm -hmm. So much fun. I want an axolotl. I have a... My biology teacher from high school has a whole grip of them. You know what else a weird They need a group, them? don't they? They can't... They're not individuals. No, they can huh? be by themselves. They can be by yeah. themselves, but they do better as like a group. That's but what I thought. You want to know a weird fact about them? Hmm. What? If you don't maintain their cage, they will literally adapt and turn into salamanders. What? Yes. yes. Wow. Literally, within a matter of a month, you'll have an axolotl evolve into a salamander just to survive in a very dirty tank. That's fucking nuts. Holy shit. I didn't know that. Yeah, they always had they them. They get real ugly when they turn into salamanders. So. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, she <laughs> she brought them into a class once as like a classroom pet in high school. So we had axolotls in class. And they always had a ton of them because they had one. They had two. And they were told, they were told specifically, they're like, there are females. And one was not a female. 
And so they put them in their pond, and then magic happened, and then they had hundreds of them. I just thought of a bird that's actually that generally is the... pretty quiet that I think you could actually have. Which one? That was the most wholesome way to ever say they fucked. <laughs> magic. <laughs> then magic happened. So you ready? Yeah. I have yet to meet one that literally hits like high decibels. Okay. It's called an electus parrot. They're one of the few parrots that you can actually tell the gender of because of their color. Ooh. I'd be okay with one of those. Ooh, they get and big too, don't they? Oh, no, they don't. Um, that's that's photoshopped. They get about the size of Kitty and Echo. An so electus the green parrot. is male. The red and purplish blue is female. I'd probably want the green. Not gonna lie. I would very recommend a, much, a male over a female. How much female, do they sell for? Um, babies, you can probably get them for like three, four grand. Oh. Well, that's not happening. <laughs> Maybe in the someday. Rescue world, you can normally find you can find a lot of them in the rescue world. We get at least three or four of them a year. You can normally get them for about two, three hundred bucks. All right. Well, and you, you, cages. you hit me up if you come across one, because I will, oh I will figure something out. <laughs> Where's your address? I know you sent it to me. <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple parrot rescues here. In fact, we have one. I know. I'm going to reach out to them. We have one. What's it? Uh, <laughs> Facebook. Let's see. Um, I think it's Southwest Parrot Rescue. Let me see. Because I followed them on Facebook here. Macaw and Cockatoo Rescue of New Mexico. That's who we have. They actually have an African Grey right now. I wonder what their adoption fees are. Do you get to say or no? No, their, their website's pretty pretty low on the like so, you ready for the crazy thing huh when i adopted nix mm -hmm. he was actually the cheapest bird i've ever bought really yep i just had to supply a cage but i already had a cage at home yeah and honestly you can find used cages everywhere especially on facebook that's what we were place. trying to do with like the rats when we got the rats we were trying to find a I used cage said, like so yeah facebook marketplace and other online um stuff like i got ksl mm -hmm. and uh, it's, that's where i get all my cages i always have spare cages just in case something goes wrong right i can so see that my birds have a spare cage <clears throat> i'm trying to think um, of what to do for the the it was two hundred dollars oh that's not bad that's extremely cheap for a ten thousand dollar bird right Control D. But that's the joys of being able to take on aggressive birds and make them your friend. Because yeah. I can get better deals on birds than most people because I'm willing to take a bite. See, and that's the thing is like I, I won't be able to get away with an aggressive one. Yeah, you will. No. It's not like you don't have someone who could walk you through every step. Well, I mean, that's true. I could. Here's like, literally, a, here, I so here, I guess here's the question then is can you make them not aggressive eventually? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can rehab them. Um, Kitty was abused and terrified of people. Oh, okay. Um, Sad for Kitty, Nix but... was kept in a hoarding home, a parrot hoarder. Oh, is that that one that happened last year? Uh, no, that was a couple years ago. Oh, okay. I've had Nix for three years. Gotcha. Was Nix your first of your current flock? No, actually Midori was. I keep forgetting about Midori. That's a good name. Well, it's because he's a little shit and never comes out of his cage. <laughs> Is that because every this, the second he comes out of his cage, wants nothing to do with me, and he goes to the highest point he can. Interesting. So when we do take him out of the cage, it's in a very small confined room. Yeah, I could see that. With nothing else in it. But he also hates me ever since I brought Kitty home. <laughs> so he he is cat's bird. Okay. Because he was very jealous and wouldn't let me touch him at that point. Kitty <laughs> um, was the first big bird in the flock. Yeah. Then it was Nyx. Then it was Trixie. Um, Ooh, then Pudge. The fuck? Now Echo. 
What is going on there? So Midori, Nix, Midori, Kitty. Nix, Kitty, Pudge, Echo, um, Betty. Betty. Oh, Betty. Betty the cockatiel. She's the one that was found in the. Is that one the one the you alleyways. just took on? You found a no. cockatiel in the alleyway. Someone found her in a in her cage, left in the middle of an alleyway. People fucking suck, man. You didn't hear the cockatoo story, did you? No, I don't think so. Last year we found two cockatoos on the in a box, a cardboard box on the side of the freeway. Surprised you found them in the box. One didn't make it. Oh. The other one is thankfully with its new forever home and doing very well. That's good. I hate that. Like it, it, it like breaks my heart when people do that with like dogs and cats and shit. Well, and then this, the, like we've some of the weirder stories I've gotten that aren't too sad because the birds are okay. Yeah. Um, Steven, he's a Goffin's cockatoo. Um, his owners didn't want him inside, mm -hmm. so they put him out with the chickens. So he was it kept in a chicken coop with chickens. What? And. It's really weird to watch a cockatoo that was raised with chickens. Does it make the sounds? Yeah, and he struts and pecks at the ground like chickens do. It's kind of great, but sad, too. Um, so last year, we got reports that there was an Indian ringneck that mm -hmm. was out in the wild. We never caught him. Oh, damn. I just, we got, What was it, two weeks ago we got a call that is a little shit still out there? And they could do okay in the in the winter there? Yeah. Wow. Indian ringnecks can survive in like negative, I think, negative 10 degrees. Wow. Yeah, he's... That's crazy. Th this is why a lot of states do not like them. Yeah, I could see that. No, I could totally see that. Yeah, he apparently has a girlfriend and it's a dove. <laughs> it's a dove. That's fantastic. Um, All right, so this table lamp is no longer big enough. Now, if you want a songbird that's bigger, mm -hmm. um, we actually have two of them, if you're interested. They're Roselias. So what makes they a are, songbird? They just sing? Well, they're technically parrots. Oh, okay. But they're more songbirds, like finches and stuff so they whistle and do all that other stuff instead of talking and stuff gotcha <laughs> <What's it? laughs> all right modify center pivot i'm going to actually thank you for reminding me roy i'm going to put that up on instagram right now we also need to put it up on twitch text being a streamer right now you know what I might start doing? Huh. I might now use Instagram for kind of a ballpark. Take my clip, put it into Instagram, put the captions on it, then take it from there and put it onto YouTube Shorts. Oh, it's a good idea. It's a good like YouTube Shorts are good for growth, man. Yeah, but remember, I don't care for YouTube. I know. Like, I don't want to worry about editing videos, but if I can just do Shorts. You can. There's plenty of channels that follow us that just do that. You don't have to live stream like we are. I'm just like, I'm tired of waiting for that number to go up. <clears throat> it's looking pretty good so far. I hate that it takes so long to render, but you know what I could do? I might be able to make it render a little bit faster. Let's see. Oh, no, I can't. Well, I could. Fuck it. Render faster, bitch. Or not. I think I told you to get fucked. Well, well. A Senegal would be a good one, too. A what? A Senegal. They're more smaller birds, but that'd be a really good one, too. Senegal. Oh, those are pretty. That was my one of my foster birds. He actually just got adopted last week. I swear to God, I thought that said our Sen do Senegal parrots taste good. Hey, hey, <laughs> Roy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so one of the Dixbert sounds. Yeah. 
it, or one of the tricks is is that you can um you can't see unless you're screaming or making sounds and when i first did it he full bore panicked i have never laughed that hard i was looking long and hard life. when i start when i got my loot crate thing or my crate for the explore dixper yeah because i wanted to make sure i wanted to make sure that whatever i chose was going to be usable at some point for like a good scare and i'm, I'm pretty happy with my choices yeah. You know you can disenchant them and then craft some, right? Yeah, yeah, I saw you could do that too. I'm still learning learning how to do it because Dixper's a whole nother monster. Of... Yep. All right, so we got the four screens still. We're just upgrading them to, like, flat screens. Didn't you guys do Dixper at one point? No, we did um, Stream Loots, and it was not as good. Well, we didn't want to do Dixper because at the time somebody else was doing Dixper and we were like, eh, we're not going to like directly copy them. Well, I look at it this way. Everybody's doing Dixper, so... Yeah, basically. Maybe again, maybe at some point. I need to think of other gags to put in here. Chris, what other moments have we had that would be a good thing to put in here? Uh, what do you have? I got the Ouija board, I got the caution alligators, I got some of those, got the Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the holy do tamale. Anything, do you have anything from uh b -b 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 forest? <sighs> Technically, the alligator sign. What mm. oh, I see. The ca I mean, caution alligator. Like weaponry or something. You can put a raft. I could do oh, you know what Are I Are those images 2D only or 2D and 3D? Which ones? The ones on the shelf. Um, these ones right here? They're technically 3D, but they're just on a 2D plane. Got it. This one's on a actual, like, square. But I'm trying to think, what was, a, what was an important thing in the forest? Because, like, there's... You could do a crab game thing. I've got crab game. What am I missing? See? No, I don't. What am I dumb about? Scroll. That far behind that thing? Probably. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see it. Yeah, yeah so crab game. I, don't I do know have. Why I keep falling behind. Yeah, I do have the forest. I do have phasmo. I do have haunt chaser. But props would be good for sure. Because I was thinking, like maybe one of those little toy rafts, like just the wood and the little sail for raft. Oh yeah, that would be good. That'd be a fun one. I could I could remake a beer the bottle or a liquor bottle or something. I could remake the hook from Raft. You could do that. But that, just something Raft esque. That would be pretty easy. So the Raft, okay. So the Raft hook could and do that. Maybe something Minecraft for your server. True, could do that. I just hmm. How much of the? Okay, so that's about where the shelf stops. That's normally, I like, I usually try to like look around my office and like think of like what I've got in my office and like think of like how I would decorate a studio space like this. I do think we need some like neon strips somewhere. Just lighting. Yeah, some like neon lights going around. Let me see what other games y'all have played. I've played so many at this point. I know. Definitely something from the forest, though. We definitely need something from the forest. I just don't know what. Stream track. I could do the axe from the forest. Yeah, I was thinking like a weapon from the forest. It's just forest. kind of... Axe. Oh, it would have Matt. to be... It would have to be the initial emergency axe. Matt, I'm now guaranteed getting the... Um, galaxy pre-order. Because they, really? um, they just up the ante on Samsung, oh, and now if you order so. from their website, huh? you can get their phone for free. Oh, shit. Not my phone, my no. wife just made me amazing pasta. Nice. Oh, that looks delicious. It smells fucking delicious. But, um... What was the, what's the terminology I'm thinking of? You can get uh, their Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 for free if you pre-order. Are you fucking serious? 
Damn. And, you, and it doesn't matter if you have to do it with a carrier or straight on their website. It's too bad I just bought one of those. Oh no, my wife looked at me and goes, your Samsung 3 still works. I said, yes. And... That, no, that's, that's called, a... That's a good... It's called backups, thank you. Backups? True. If my phone ever dies, I got backups. That is true. So you're not going to sell your phone? It's a trade-in, unfortunately. Oh, so they do make you do remember, the trade-in. I'm going through a carrier. Right. All right, so I could model this. Um, you have stuff for the... I feel like that would be easy enough to do. You have something for your podcast, right? Yeah, there's plenty of, like, album covers in there for that. So your top ten games or things... I don't know if this is based off of time or... Yeah, this is based off of stream time. Just chatting. Phasmophobia. Okay. Hunt Showdown. Okay. Talk show podcast. Halo Forest. Alien Isolation. Ooh, Chuck. Green Hell. That's a good idea, too. Hi, Dark Techno. Soul Sorry 3. for being late. I don't know. Hey, content fan lover. Don't worry about it. You are never late. It's always good to see you. Happy you're here. How are you doing? What else, Chris? Uh, your last three are Dark Souls 3, which I think Dark Souls would be a good one to have something up for up there. <laughs> I was, uh, I was tempted to put a broken controller in there because I almost broke a controller playing that stupid ass game. Oh, do you have you have Jake's broken glasses? Don't you? Uh, Jake's broken glasses are in there, so there's there is that. Let's see. We need to make you play. I am bread. I don't know if I can sustain playing that game. <laughs> no, you can't. I promise you. Nope. Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll just. Add a toaster in there. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I could add a toaster. It's saved as a god damn gif -if -if. Yes, replace it. No, I don't want a goddamn What is this? Save image as web file. Why? Why do we have to do this? What whoever decided Oh, there we go. That's a good one. Save image as web file. I wonder if Maya can do a web file. We're going to find out. Am I, not hearing audio on I don't think it can. It cannot. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the cheap way out. I'm going to screenshot it. Because I don't care. I just don't care, man. Alright, I'm going to screenshot. You can do it. <clears throat> Save as. Save. Fuck that. Change this. Where'd it go? It's no. Oh, there it is. All right. We're going to build this, and I think that's probably going to be the last thing we're able to do this stream. Next week, I have something a little bit different. We're not going to be working on the starting soon screen. What are you working on next? I'm going to be working on my old friend, Sigil. Which is tech, also, a project nobody knows about, but you're going to find out about it next week. Also, yes. um, I'm going to be very cryptic about this. Mm -hmm. What's the timing on that other thing? Uh, I don't care, I'm just curious. <laughs> I know I told you last week, and I totally fucked that up, but... No, and that's fine. I, again, I'm not holding you to anything. I know you're not. Um, yes, there's no volume on that. Hopefully soon. Oh, shit, Might be able to work on it tomorrow, actually. I, I should have time. Let's see. Yes, me and Chris have another secret project that's coming out soon, too. Why are there none? I'll get that erased. Why are there nuts? Why are there nuts? No. Why are there Apparently nuts? I just put a reel. I just put a reel, but there's no volume to it. Oh, I've had that happen before. Instagram is a piece of shit. I've learned this. So enjoy that little piece of information for yourself. You can do it. You can do it, Madness. What is Madness doing, though? I don't know. I will get you a bird. I will find a bird for you. Maybe. I, I, I might have some points because I, I was okay with the rats. Not that I don't love them. I love the rats. They're pretty great. Well, you know what? I don't want 
want a birdie because they're not. It's so fluffy. <laughs> we can keep it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's the hope, right? There is no hope. All you got to do is get two birds, not just one. <laughs> and then ignore one of them. Let her deal with that one and you deal with yours. And then it'll bond with her and then she'll be like, I want more. I want more. All of them. Give me all of them. <laughs> All right, so got that. Vortex. Incredibly easy to make because this is a simple little, simple little blade. You say this is easy, but I'm looking at going, what the fuck are you doing and how are you doing it? Just grabbing stuff and making stuff and inserting edge loops and stuff. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's super easy. If you don't understand it, you're a caveman. Just kidding. Ooh. Okay, okay. Ooh, I fucked that up. Okay. It's the coldest it gets out there. Here? Yeah. Uh, it depends. I mean, we've this winter it's been garbage. Like we haven't gotten cold at all this winter. So, um, but the coldest I've ever experienced it was below eight or below freezing at like negative eight degrees. So not stupendously cold, but cold enough. Generally, we've been sitting around the 40 range. The mornings are about 25, but nothing nothing crazy. Okay. Why do you ask? I don't know I don't know the layout of your house. <clears throat> Two story. Um open floor plan. Do you guys do you not have a basement? No. Nope, we do not. Mesh tools. He heard me again. <laughs> now evil giggling. What the fuck was that? Oh, Chuck. <clears throat> Chat, how are we feeling about the We Create Wednesdays? Are we enjoying them? Do we want them more, like, spaced out? How do you guys feel about it? I do want to know. I have an opinion, but as a mod, I just sit here and do what you need to do. No, I want to know what your opinion is. Yeah. What is it? I'll tell you later. Bitch. It's okay. We'll be talking after stream. I know we will. I'll meet you in the schoolyard. Meet you in the schoolyard. Bring a beer. Oh, speaking of beer, I have one of those. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, a beer. That's how you get a beer gut. <laughs> True. True. All right, so now this blade is kind of funky. We're going to go boop. Going to go boop. I like it though. I do miss my We Play Wednesday. I think once or twice a month. Okay, so we could like reduce it a little bit. I could, I could be, I could be cool with that. Pretty much, Matt and his voice the same thing. I was thinking maybe not every <sighs> weekend, or maybe even what you could do is like the first and the third Wednesday is a We Play Wednesday, and Jake's doing keyboard, and then flip it. So like it's could it's see that We Play Create We Play Create. And then Jake can kind of go opposite of you so that somebody's doing game. I could agree with that. Because also, if per chance Jake's mod takes two hours, like the last two streams, mm -hmm. um, then there's no gameplay for the day, which is maybe not be a bad thing, but could be. No, I, no, I, I totally agree. So that's that's good. I it's good insight to have. On Poppy Play. That was really fun. We do need to do that again. <laughs> I do not get that sweaty. But you did. <laughs> no. I did, but I was a fair kind of sweaty. That was fair. No, the sweatiest one was me memeing on you guys and Dead by Dead. Uh, DBD was some other form of like torture with Chris. He was just mon <laughs> he was a monstrosity in that game. Like, what do you mean? I was all I would do was just meme it a bit. You weren't memeing it. You were fucking desecrating it all i did was i played the chainsaw boy who has like the greatest hitbox ever oh you're bubba yeah he was yeah oh, no 
So Roy, what I would do is I would hit them and then I wouldn't go and hang them. I'd walk them around like, hey, check out my childhood house. How's he would that? he would he would parade our corpses around like an asshole. No, I did it so that you guys had a chance to escape. It didn't work that way. Well, I'm sorry y'all sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, when we play Poppy, I have a rule of thumb. If I've already nabbed you and you just got released, I will go after someone else. It's fair. Whether or not the next person gets away, that's their own problem. <laughs> that's your own goddamn fault. <laughs> Delete that. All right. See, that wasn't so hard. It's the rule of thumb of being an actual, like, fair player, especially Oops. when it's like games like DBD is you don't camp one player just to get a kill. Yeah, I think this is a problem with games like that, right? Is that they get a little too... They get a little... They, they do, they just get sweaty. They get sweaty as fuck. And you get people who are just, like, wanting to just murder everybody, and, like, it takes the fun out of it. Like, I get that that's the main goal, but at the same time, like, you gotta give it a break. That's like sometimes you get good killers in DBD where it's like they understand. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, you know, I killed you. You just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. I will let you get away and I'll go after someone else. Exactly. And that's what I was trying to do with uh, um, Project Playtime because it was just like, okay, I, I, I got you last time. I'm going to go after someone else. It was almost like a mercy kind of thing, like a mercy kill kind of thing, like. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you survive a little bit longer. Well, and it's like you don't want to just like because if you, in Project Playtime, in all honesty, I probably could have wiped everybody. Oh yeah, easily. Because Dude, if I would have just tunneled, I would have been able to of get everybody. You can. <laughs> but I chose not to because there, there's it's not fair. It's like it's like you playing what freeze tag. You don't just sit there around someone and just. <laughs> Ooh, you can't go anywhere because no one can get you, can unstuck you. I know, I hate that. I hate it when people do that. It's miserable. Alright, scale that a bit so I get that nice curve in there. Look at that. We have an axe blade. That didn't take very the long at all. The ability and how you did that so fast. <sighs> I'm just sad. It's taken years to get to this, and like... I feel the same way when I'm watching my buddy stream because, like, when he's working, I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I have no idea what you're doing. He's so damn good. That's the guy who works for Turtle Rock, right? Yes. I've never, like, he's the guy that I'm like, I wish I went to the same fucking school as you because I feel like I got gypped. I almost went to the school you did. I know. You would have gotten gypped. Well, no, I wasn't going to go into the same field that you were. I know, but you probably still would have gotten gypped. Actually, I mean, other than going to one of, like, the conservatories, it's actually one of the better ones to do what I was looking to do, because I wanted to do Is it? music production. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, if I went there, I would have done music production and scoring. Yeah. They were, I don't, well, and I did online, and so, like, on campus is a totally different experience, but I tend yeah, to I wonder... Gonna... How much better it is? Have you seen where their campus is? Yeah, I've I've been to the campus, so I did yeah, I did I get mean, to go. The campus itself was nice, but the area around the campus, I was gonna say, man. He's referring, can't say gypped. Why can't you say gypped? Is it a new thing that you can't say? I've always said that. <laughs> Roy, do I even need to ask what the fuck you're doing? No, I'm watching the video. <laughs> I was not aware that was a word we're not allowed to use anymore. Did it finally come through? What word? Damn, gypped. Control vertex, one, one. I need to figure out why. Oh. Oh, did I ever tell either of you that I got like a really weird comment on one of my... You mentioned it, but you didn't say what the comment was. Are you talking about the one I said today or, or, or a week or two back? It was a week or two back, if I remember. Some dude, so 
I posted on my Instagram when I made homemade marshmallows because that was an experience. Yeah. And I was really proud of it. Some dudes like made a comment like, "Man, you shouldn't be making marshmallows." Like, and I think he's trying to make a shot at my weight. And like, oh. I didn't, I didn't respond to him. I just deleted the comment. Like, oh, I'm just not gonna put up with that. Fuck That's not that. The positivity I want. Gypsy slur. I did not realize that was a bad thing now. So that's my bad. <clears throat> I'm going to have some chicken now. Um, hey. Check yeah. Messenger. Facebook or Discord? Uh, Discord. Uh, Messenger. Facebook. Facebook. Can you what? I don't want to say that without oh, you knowing. Okay. All right, guys, we just got word that Jake will not be streaming tonight. He's calling for tonight. So he will be live tomorrow with me. Um, let's see. What you all playing tomorrow? I don't know. I think we're doing... Oh, I can't say chicken. Okay, Chuck. <laughs> uh, I don't know what we're playing tomorrow, to be honest. Just didn't know. Okay. Okay, so if you can't say chicken, you're now eating a... I am... <laughs> feather Tyrannosaurus Rex. I, that's true. I am eating a deep feathered <laughs> dinosaur. All right. We're going to finish up this axe and then we're going to call it for the night. Oh, I did that wrong. I should have done this first, but it might. It's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> Can't say Chuck. Then I'm just not going to say anything. How about that? I do know one word I can say. Fuck. Fuck. It's true. That is very true. All right, so... Let's see. We're going to add a little bit of a roundabout piece here to make it like an actual handle. Do not know why I went into like a weird Texas accent. Do not question me. <laughs> Do not question me. <laughs> Do not question my ways. I feel like that'll work. It's probably a little too... Speaking of roundabouts, have you guys ever seen any of these YouTube videos of when a steak gets a roundabout and they've never had one before? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. That's so entertaining. It's, it's pretty funny. I, I lived that where, where I grew up. <laughs> because... <when> I, <laughs> no, Roy, this is how bad it was. Where I lived, they had one of the first roundabouts. Madness knows this place very well because uh -huh. I used to drive it every time they go see me. Now, if I'm in in my home state. The roundabout is at the end of a highway. <laughs> so you're coming on the highway doing like 55, 60, and realistically almost 70, sir. Um, and then you're coming into this roundabout where it's a major road and then a, like a, a neighborhood kind of road, mm -hmm. like small two-lane road. So at first, everything was fine. People couldn't figure it out too well. And then they thought to themselves, well, people are prepping the roundabout too fast. <laughs> Thank you, They're Chuck. They're looking to the left and thinking, oh, I can make it and gunning it. So you know what they do? They put up a, f a chain link fence and cover it with a tarp so you can't see till you get right on the edge of the roundabout. That sounds like something Ac stupid that our state would do. Accidents increased in that corner by about, I think, 20%. Because now you just can't see who's coming till you get right there. So they just created more of an accident because why not you know i like roundabouts i like them in my big rig because especially if they're like dual lane roundabouts i just kind of like meh i'm mm, taking up the whole meh. thing everybody can have some fun whatever <laughs> well when i take it because most roundabouts are too tight um i literally have to claim the whole entire roundabout yeah that's true and it's so funny when people are like honking at me and it's like what are you doing it's like you come drive this thing then true Ooh, but wait, you can't. I always watch trucks though, because I'm always like, I know you're gonna pull some like ridiculous turn here, so I'm just gonna let you do your thing. Oh, well, you definitely can know who has a CDL when you're coming up to a turn and someone's backing up, because like, oh, I'm gonna give him all the room he needs. <laughs> 
But and you just like instantly like you start smiling. You're like, yeah, you feel my pain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. All right, well there it is. There's the forest axe. That just needs to be textured. But I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the same material. Speaking of big rig bullying. Big rig bullying. I had, I had someone try and. Uh, I was going into a construction zone today, and someone tried to cut in on the right lane. That was ending, and I was almost towards the end of it, and I about ran him into the cones. I was like, I ain't fucking moving over. You can just hit those cones for all I care. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's, it's like, don't try and cut off the big rig. There was a left lane next to me. You could have gone around that way, but no, you're like, I got to get in front of them. If anybody's watching on Instagram, I don't know if you are or not, I lost my chat, so I can't see what you're saying. I'm sorry. But hopefully you're still there. Just gotta put that out there. I gotta figure out. I gotta figure out a better solution for chat. I will say it's like you know some people are like, hey, we want you to do an IRL stream so we can see what you do. You don't want to hear that road rage. I'll probably get banned <laughs> real quick. Get banned from Twitch. Oh yeah. It would be pretty funny. I. Literally, oh, it's being a CDL driver, I have literally lost all patience on the road. Like, I don't get, like, aggressive, I'm going to follow you around or all that. I'm just the type that just rages inside the cab. I can see it. Say that. <clears throat> Alrighty, well. Like, if you guys ever come up to visit, mm -hmm. I know I'm going to be driving sooner or later and just taking us somewhere. And it's you guys will get a small taste of it. I really now want to get a rental car. I was going to say, yeah, I look forward to it. <laughs> I'm actually a really good driver. Okay, this is the same thing, and I will, and, and Mattness knows this. Whenever him and I tandem drive, or if we, like, drive in the same car, mm -hmm. I have to drive the cities, mm -hmm. and he drives the open road. Oh, okay. Because the, the dumb drivers around us scare me. So I'll drive them because like, okay, I'm normally defense. But then when I'm driving on the freeway, Madness handles it so much better. So See, kinda, I just, very I just hate driving. Driver. Yeah, I hate driving around because people suck and they suck at driving. I will I, be it honest, doesn't bother I will me probably not let you drive in Utah. <laughs> oh, trust me. Nothing's worse than Detroit. What, home of the automakers? Roy, a freeway that is literally... 16 foot high wall lane 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 six foot wall no shoulders and the speed limit is 55 doing 80 <laughs> and we do that in blizzards yeah that's detroit too but what i'm saying is is like if you get tapped you're hitting no, a we wall literally or a car. drive through one foot worth of snow probably going 65 Ooh. to 80 miles an hour yeah i'm used to that Oh, well, trust me. When and the, most of us don't have four-wheel drive. <laughs> then you guys are just stupid. <laughs> Ply. Eh. Close. There we go. That's pretty. Can't drive in Utah if you don't know how to do that. True. All right. So that's that. And guys, if you've never seen this before, this is UV editing. So I'm basically unwrapping this thing and just allowing it to exist. But it doesn't always work out the way I want it to. Yeah, no, Roy, I don't know if you remember, but like I think it was 2014 when we got the the bomb cyclone in the Midwest. Oh, yeah. Jesus. I can remember sounds so aggressive. School, I remember driving to school. I was going to college that day. I think we had eight inches of snow at the time. And I was in a 2000 Lincoln Continental hitting it about... <laughs> maybe 70 on non-plowed roads just clearing it sounds like me on a good day a uh madness i could top that imagine a two-door jeep wrangler one wheel drive no with the with the re-gear that i did on my wrangler just i'm pretty sure you can't get a um, wrangler in anything but four-wheel drive no, no they have two wheel they have two wheel are you serious yeah you can, what yeah, the? You can why the, the fuck only, would you waste your money on that? Florida. The only, the, <laughs> okay, all right, fair. The only car company that is all four-wheel drive is Subaru. Subaru. But my rear gear is so overdone for my setup that even in four-wheel drive, 
It's a donut monster. It will literally, like, if I'm not feathering the gas pedal, it will literally just spin me around. Because it just wants to go sideways. I've literally, there's videos just of me wants going to throw up a you. snow hill sideways. <laughs> Love because that. Because it wants to climb, but the back end's like, I want to go this way. And the front end's like, but I want to go this way. <laughs> It is very entertaining and terrifying to watch at the same time. All right, let's see here. Sure. <laughs> it looks like it, doesn't it? And so this is how you. This is kind of how you do what's called UV mapping. I'm unwrapping the 3D object and making it 2D so I can apply a texture to it. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's it for the handle or the the blade itself. Because all I'm going to do is take this picture and cut the axe head out and put it on there. Subaru. Madness knows. Subaru. And Matt, yes, I do miss my boat as well. <laughs> my boat? My So it was the joke. My Lincoln Continental mm -hmm. was longer than Madness's Silverado. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tip to tail. <laughs> it. And it's it's a four seater car. There's nothing special about it, so we called it the land yacht. <laughs> the what land year yacht. Is, uh, my my bro oh okay. My brother in uh, Texas has a classic Lincoln with the suicide doors. Oh shit. The nineteen uh nineteen seventy two, isn't it? Uh sixty, I think. Sixty mm. something. Mm. Why'd you make that face or sound? Why'd you make that Those face? Are sexy. Oh. Okay, in the 60s, we, like, made Suicide Doors a good thing. Yeah, I mean, they're super and cool. I miss that. They're honestly really cool. Yes, they're so great. But they had a name for a reason. So, um, Audis aren't all four-wheel or all-wheel drive. Uh-huh. And also, there is a slight difference. So all-wheel drive is each tire is individually smart about it. Right. Whereas four-wheel drive is all four tires are engaged at once. So, yes, they do have an all-wheel drive setting. I think all Audis, but they're not four-wheel. I've learned through working with people who make way more money than me mm -hmm. to never buy an Audi. Audis are shit. Because I mean, they look pretty and they're great. The boots, amount of times great. I've had somebody come into my office and be like, uh just got my brakes changed. That only cost me four thousand dollars. I'm like, wow, that's um, that's pretty stupid. Uh, I think there was a lady. There was a lady who got a new R8 at one point, and she was like, yeah. Oh my god. She was like, it costs like twenty five hundred dollars to get my oil changed. And I'm like, you're stupid. She's all, but I love my Audi. I'm like, do you love being broke? Because that's that's how you become broke. See, if I ever owned a car like that, I would lease it. I don't. I would lease a BMW. I don't think I could ever bring myself to owning a car like that. That's when he bought it. Oh my god! Oh, but it's lowered. Because like the price to that's what only when you... he wants it to be. Oh, it's adjustable. It's airbagged. UV. Oh fuck. Best so plan, one place he's gonna be limping like a little limping like a see what? what his project is. Please. He's going to make that 1,500 horsepower. I oh, hate sh that design. Jesus. It's a good car, but I hate that design. Isn't that a little overkill for that? No. No? Mm -mm. It's not the Continental, or did you send Matt the picture too? I have not. I'm working on it. It's one of those late tw 2000s Cadillac, S what are those, the STVs? Yes. And I hated that design because the back looked like its butt was stuck up in the air. <laughs> and the front looked like it just got shaved. It is not a good design. But yeah, yeah cool. his so Lincoln is uh, on airbags. Oh, shit. Let me see. That's when you walk up behind somebody and just pops. Jesus them. Christ. Alrighty, well, let me save this. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. It's been great chilling with everybody. Remember... Jake is unfortunately not streaming tonight. He is going to call it for tonight, and he will be back tomorrow with me. Um, that's the wrong fucking scene. But it looks like now. <clears throat> so, I will see you all tomorrow. We will have a great night. We will play some whatever we're going to play. I think we're playing the quarry. I'm not sure. And, um, yeah, we will see you guys all in the next one. What have a good night, Monday? everybody. 
the what? 